Welcome everybody to Grand Pooh Bear Speedrun Sessions Boston 2. Two. Oh, <laughs> yes. What? In fact, this is the first city that we've ever done two speedrun sessions. That's so give it up, Boston and Pax East, right there for everybody. I want to give a big shout out, everyone here right now. Don't forget, there is alcohol for sale right there at the bar. There are arcade games everywhere. We're gonna do a meet and greet in the back once all this is over. So if you want a picture, handshake, high five from any of us here, um, you can get it. By the way, I want to introduce everyone right here to my wait. Actually, right here, we have someone live patching <laughs> CJ's game right now. Give it up for Crafty Boss, yeah. ladies and gentlemen. Live patching CJ's game right now. But we have CJ. He's going to be running Super Mario Odyssey here in just a bit. We got Linkus over here running Tears of the Kingdom. And then over there on that multi-arcade cabinet, give it up for L Rock, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. The premier arcade speedrunner in here. He's going to be rocking Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I heard him making some Simpsons. Maybe some WrestleFest going in there for any of you. Uh, there we go, my one fan. Um, and I'm Grand Pooh Bear. I'm going to be playing Grand Pooh World 3, or as much as if I can get through in time. Yeah, 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 come on, give it up. All right, all right. So I'm going to be playing a little bridge version. I'm going to skip a few things. You can boo me all you want. Um, <laughs> they're saying poo for the run. It's not poo. Oh, they're saying poo. No. Uh, don't worry. Th this run will not be the most disappointing thing that happened in the Mario community today. Anyway, if you, <laughs> my chat knows the news. Y'all hear it. Packs don't yet. Um, but I need a countdown right here. Put your glasses up. I need a countdown. Count me down in three, two, one. Woo! All right. So this is Great Poo World 3. If you could turn my game sound up just a little bit. Um, and what I'm going to do right here is we're starting from the, like, past the, I don't know what you call this, like the fake ending. We're just going to start from the fake ending. We're just going to show off a bunch of cool levels and beat the final boss, and it's going to be wonderful. Oh, shit. I already died. <laughs> God. Uh, also, I'm, yeah, I'm going to die a lot. For those who don't know, this is Kaizo Mario. Um... <laughs> I'm supposed to be good at it, but uh, I've been playing a difficult climbing game all week and watching other people play Mario. Oh, oh Balatro. Yeah, that, that's the real thing that's caused this, is Balatro. I feel that. Oh, my God. All right, this is a controller thing. I swear I can drop a, drop a string. Why are you dying? Um, okay, so I have uh, breath. I'm in Toxic World right now, and you see this little timer right there? Uh. Oh. Yeah, that's how much breath I have. I thought it was stamina that makes a lot of sounds. Yeah, it's it's your breath, and then this red is more toxic, so it goes faster. And then purple's like medium toxic, you know? Reminds you my ex-wife. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I don't know anything about Mario. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, we've made one checkpoint. Let's go! That's my streamer. Yes, you know what? If you guys just go crazy every time I do anything, even if I play bad, everyone will think I'm playing good, so. <laughs> I'm getting tricked right now. Yep. And any mistakes, Wait, just to sick. make it look even more impressive. Yeah, this is sick. This part is sick. It is so cool. Yeah, basically you're just warping into these little, little pipes. It's real, it almost reminds me of Portal. In yes. a way, yeah, it's like uh, Portal and Mario Hybrid. Which already exists. This one's cool. Nice. Yeah. I did it. Oh. We beat a level. Oh, man. What did you think of that, Crafty? That was awesome. It was so cool. Especially the Mario and the jumping. Like, that, was, that, was really cool. uh, that was my favorite part, too. You know what? We're not going to go this way, actually. We're going to go back. We're going to go back. I don't want to show up. That level sucks. We're going back. <laughs> we're going Barb. back. Yeah, we're going back. Uh, we're going to show off another level here. Um, it kind of has the same gimmick. Um, so, oh, wow. Is there more lights all of a sudden? Um, kind of has the same gimmick, but it has one part that I just really, really love that I want to show off. Oh, wow, this is very green. That can't be good for you. No, it's not. No. Poopoo water. <laughs> it's Poo -poo like Mountain water. Dew. 
Oh. <laughs> You can't go through those yellow things. Only but the pipes. Yeah, only, only the pipe can go through the yellow things. That's cool. Things. And those are death blocks, right? The skull ones? Yeah, the skull ones are death. Oh. Oh, wait. Oh, go down farther. All right, I literally just wanted to play this level for this part right here. What? Nice. I know, right? It's so easy, but it just looks so cool. Uh, shout out to Barb, that evil genius. <laughs> oh. Oh, no. Uh, oh, no. <laughs> That's awkward. That's Dude. awkward. You don't need to count them, guys. I'm going to die a lot, okay? I'm not <laughs> donating to anyone, you know? Yeah, the amount of deaths I get is the amount of drinks we all have to take at the end of the That's night. That's a bad idea. Good luck with that. Oh, I, I died that one, too. Oh. <laughs> oh. Why would I? Oh, what just happened there? Where was the thing? I think I don't. I'm, you know what? I'm just killing time so, so Crafty has enough time to fix CJ's game for him. <laughs> yeah, exactly. He also broke it, though. I want that on the record. Nice. I could do that part, maybe. <laughs> Not any other part. All right, so that right here, we're going to have to do a lot of timing things. I think I don't think they can hear us anyway. Yeah, right? our voices are not coming out. Our voices anymore. are not coming out of the speakers anymore. I'm just going to talk really loud. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Nice. I almost fucked that up. Woo. All right. Yay. Yay. Nice. Yay. What do you mean? Oh, I went through a pipe and then through another pipe. Yeah. <laughs> All right. This this one right here is pretty cool. I like the background of this one as well. Yeah, it was really nice. Uh, it's like Boston. You guys don't get to hear us if you're live anymore. Yeah. <laughs> All right, right here. This part's really difficult. It's so weird that you guys can't hear me in, in the regular place. I'm trying. That was an intentional death. It was intentional. <laughs> I couldn't do it without it. So as you can see, I mean, you, you guys get what's going on here. I would fall through these little things. Right. right here, this is a fun little troll. You actually have to jump over the end and get it. Yes, everyone, I do one nice. shot. Yeah. Incredible. Incredible. So can you actually die during this credit scene? You can die any credit scene. So, oh, yeah. okay. So the first time you did it, the, the disco shell comes over mm. and then just drops the floor out on you, and you look like a uh, jackass. <laughs> yeah, more or less. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Uh, this level's all about the bats. So in this ROM hack, does each level have its own theme? Yes, pretty okay. much. Like, each level has its own theme or gimmick, I would say, more or less. Although sometimes that theme or gimmick might just be, like, hard. Yeah, right. Hard platforming, you know? But I would say most of them have, like, something. Like, this one's obviously, like, the bats, you know? Yeah. Yes, I know that was great. I'm grooving now. 
Oh, did we get a crowd <laughs> shot right? Oh my god, I have voice again! Yeah! yeah. We're back! Uh, shout out to this wonderful crowd right here. Uh, they were waiting for hours in the cold. Hours! It was really cold. It is really cold. It is it cold. Is, it is so cold here. I wasn't! <laughs> yeah, it was a mistake to give up all my winter clothes moving to Texas. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Alright, this part's cool right here. You use a Yoshi, you see you eat them, and it gets you up, and then you can go nice. there. It's just a very cool, interesting part. Whoa, okay, that's sick. Whoa! Woo! Yay! Yeah. Hey, two in a row! It's a bit bad for the ocean. Grab though. these done modding now. You did it? Hey, ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for the man who invented Odyssey Online right here, Crafty Boss. Give it for him. Now get the hell off the ca- No. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're, you're good. not you're welcome. Good. You can do whatever you want. I'm fine. You can do whatever you want, baby. I know, they were questioning your legitimacy. Don't worry, we have tons of celebrities in the audience. We're gonna have tons of guests come up. <laughs> so, we had celebrities in the audience. Pretty okay, sure so Mark right Wahlberg. here. Oh, wait, actually, I'm gonna show you guys, and I gotta kill myself. I have to use the L and R button to move the level. Oh, okay. okay. All right, yes, I gotta reset it because I'm on a timer as well. I'll do my best, but now you put pressure <laughs> oh, on me. Just, this would make me throw up if I had to play this. <laughs> the hard part is just you never use these buttons. Like, I'm not like a Metroid runner, you know what I mean? Well, you guys don't know what I mean. You play 3D games. There's a hidden block right here that's just evil. Oh. So <laughs> evil. Yeah. Nice. I'm very happy to get done with that. There's a little, I can control that too. Whoa! All right, here, same idea, but left and right. Uh, the L controls the left. I, I, I don't know why I had to explain that, but. It'd be insane if it's the other way around. <laughs> yeah, it'd be really weird. Damn, that would be actually really evil. I don't think about it. Uh, I gotta move that over. Those are uh, blacking uh, out right now. Oh! Yo! That's a good one nice. shot right there. That's a pretty that good one good. shot. I mean, that's three in a row one shot. You know, I don't want to two my own horn, but two, two. All right. Everyone said I didn't practice. Are they right? Yeah, they were right. I didn't. <laughs> you just don't need the practice. I did no. I did very little practice here. You know. Um, I couldn't. I I just couldn't do practice. I was so excited to come here to Boston. Yeah. You know what? That didn't work as much because most of y'all aren't from Boston. I realize. Yeah. 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 You're always here visiting from Pax East. Um. Oh. So this has the greatest song in all of, you can't make a Mario ROM hack without using this song. And this song is actually from a game called Last Bible, uh, which is about exactly what you think it's about, but it is just such a banger song. It's in every single Mario ROM hack ever created. Oh, that's cool. I like this. I thought those were teeth when I first played this, but they're they're snowballs. <laughs> Going backwards makes me feel so unsafe. Yeah, this is weird. It feels weird in a Mario game. <laughs> Dude, go okay, so this is really funny, but Going left in Mario is like riding your skateboard switch. Yeah. Like it's the same thing. It is so, yeah. so difficult yeah. to do. <laughs> and you literally have to, I have to relearn everything. Like anytime I go left, I'm yep. so incredibly bad at it. Yeah. For all you skaters out there, I know there's tons of them. Uh, this level sucks, I'm not doing it. Fair enough. Fair enough, we're not doing it. We're not doing that level, it's not good. 
Are there any mechanics in this that are like fully original to it? Uh, yeah, there's a couple levels that are fully original, but I mean, at this stage he's climbing, so that's new. Yeah, ignore that one. Know, ignore like, what, that one. What's in other packs and what yeah. might be original? Um, I mean, I think I think the thing is is that like uh -oh. we've just done so much that's in the original, you know, at this point. Oh, sorry, this yeah, is the secret exit. The best yeah, what? <laughs> yeah, secret exit. Sorry. Uh, there's a bunch of secret exits in this game, um, and this is one of them. Nope, I shot two. Uh oh. That was funny. So how many hours would you say it usually takes to like get through one full of these ROM hacks? Um, this one took me. I oh, I was paying attention. Sorry. This one took me 30-ish. Okay. Um, but I mean, it just depends on how much you played of these, you know? Yeah. Um, and how much like, because this one it does have a lot of like obscure like Mario mechanic, you know? Yeah. That you're just gonna benefit from like playing a ton of these games all the time. More than like some other ones, so. Um, oh! Pfft. Oh, it was looking good. It was looking good, I didn't hold run. That's all right. This picture better look great that you're taking, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you gotta publish that one. Put it in your portfolio. Um, I'm also on a time limit right now. Um, you can hear that P switch. Yeah, you can see it right there. It just went off. Oh. oh, that's clean. Yeah. <laughs> nice. And then the worst part is when I f the first time I fell there, I thought those bubbles would bounce you. Yeah. Like uh, like a uh, wonder. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they don't. So that was a fun troll. All right. This level's called Bubbles, bitch. Um, <laughs> so are you just standing on them like normal? You just stand on the blue ones, though. Oh. Yeah. It's just like real life. Right, yeah, no, yeah. that's exactly that's what I was saying. How red say. bubbles work in real life. And then you get to buy a t shirt. Uh, these red coins mean you go back. What? Red bubble? The red pill or the blue pill? Wait, what? Oh. Oh, oh, oh. oh. <laughs> That's Ooh. fun. Nice. Wait, so what were the red coins? Uh, the red coins mean we're just a signifier, like, go backwards in the level. Oh, okay. Yeah. I had to avoid a few uh, hidden hidden blocks right there. Oh, shit. You he got just rolled. Yeah, he just rolled you with you. You got juked so hard. Sometimes, sometimes he just rolls with you. I want to give a shout out to our boy Laser Belch out there. The first time he played this, yeah. First time he played this section, one shot. What? One what? shot. <laughs> Blind one shot what? the first time he played this section. Legend. Ooh. Which is crazy because you, if, you know, if you've ever watched him play, he sucks. Like. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like most of what goes into these when you get really good at Mario is memorizing the stage. It's crazy to do it first try. Crazy. Yeah. Like, That's yeah. Even just like four, yeah. Even just when we get like four or five jumps blind, like yeah. you, you watch it, you're like, holy shit, what incredible yeah. reads. You know what I mean? Yeah. So for him to do all of that mm -hmm. and with it's like, you know, you're crossing levels so yeah. much was just like a wildly impressive move. So shout out to Laser Belt. Yeah. You know? All right, so we'll go back here. We're going to finish this. This is one of the harder ones in here. And I will say this is one level that actually like hurts my hands a little bit if you get stuck on it uh, because you have to like really be dragging the wall constantly. Um, but as you know, Mario can't climb in 2D Mario. This is unique. Uh, to this game. And then you can, to this or just ROM hacks in general? Well, ROM hacks in general. I mean, okay. Not all of them will do this. Like, you can't do that, do this in every level. All right, this looks normal, right? What? <laughs> I, yo, I didn't know how to do that before this game either. <laughs> you just basically have to hit it in a butt slide and then jump before you start falling down. 
I still don't get it. So you like go uphill, you start your butt slide. Uh -huh. Uphill, and then you just jump. You just like neutral the controller and jump. Because the butt slide decreases your hitbox, right? Exactly. You can get hit. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I get it now. Exactly. Oh, this is scaring me, and I'm watching. This is really <laughs> scary. <laughs> DJ, I love playing these games in front of you. I feel like whenever <laughs> whenever this happens, I don't provide any commentary though. I just kind of go, oh, uh, uh, oh, <laughs> yeah, that part's yeah. sick. I love that part. Yeah, yeah, yeah nice. Yeah. It's also scary to give commentary because you don't want to like mess him up because I feel like he has to be like in the zone That's for this. True. So it's like one word and I'm gonna mess you up. All right, there's one level that I didn't practice and I wasn't gonna play, but we're doing pretty good. And this level's got the best music. It's kind okay. of the coolest level. Okay, so let's okay, just do it. Fine, let's, let's just do it. it. I won't. I, I might suck at this one, so uh, don't judge me too hard. Uh, but has anyone here ever played V V V V V V V V V V V five times? All right. You got what's going here. Then hold on. Whoa. What? Oh wait, wait. No. Hold on. Yeah, I got you. We. Is this like an L and R thing? Nope. This is just every time I jump. Oh my god. Oh. Yeah, I haven't played this level in like three months, so. Oh, every time you jump, the gravity flips. Yeah, every time you jump, the gravity flips. Oh god. Oh. oh. I felt stressed. I'm also stressed. <laughs> Oh no, wrong one! Oh. I was supposed to regular jump. That was my fault. I, I pressed the wrong button. Mental mistake, okay? This is hey, it's bonus content. Everyone say yay for bonus content. If we were actually trying, you know, the yeah. event would be over too quickly. <laughs> so we throw in some intentional mistakes. I know it's speedrunning, but you don't want to go too fast. Yeah. You never want to, you know, never PB by too much. Nice. The first time I went in there, I thought the door was going to be reversed, too. All right, here we go. This is the really cool part. <laughs> I'm just trying Oh, to I, whoops. Ooh. I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot I could grab that. There's so much going on. I'm using all my brain power to yeah. try to comprehend. Yeah. <laughs> oh. 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 That was my fault. So does it, is it only when you do a jump from the ground or is it anytime you press the jump button? Anytime you press the jump button, but then those little things like these are like gravity ricochets. Oh, okay. Yeah, so like those little yellow or white things right there. Whoa. Um, I hate whatever's happening with this light over here. <laughs> <laughs> you remember. Whoa, 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 whoa. I wish I could experience that, but in real life. <laughs> oh. It's big. Oh, I, I, oh, I forgot. That was my fault. Mental mistake. Mental mistake. That's okay. It's a mental mistake. He just here. wants to do the cool thing again. Yeah, I just want to do the cool thing again. Yeah. Also, he's failing sometimes on purpose to make it look more impressive. Yeah. Um, you know what I've noticed? If I don't die in a Kaizo game, people just think it's a really easy game. Yeah. They're just like, oh, it was the auto, auto levels. Put Link is on the controller, then we'll really see how hard it is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so even at, like, GDQ, if I'm running too well, I'll just yeah. throw in a couple deaths. You know? But none of these are that. I've just screwed up. Yeah, that's just me screwing up. Wink, wink. There we go. Here we go. Uh oh. This music is insanely good. Oh. <laughs> All right. Now here's the fun part. What? What the hell is this? Yeah. What? Yeah. If you've ever played VVV, you get what's going on here. This is not Mario. 
Um, the worst part about this is oh. so this is in the all exits. Oh. And it's random. So after after a minute, you get the exit, but it can come anywhere anywhere after a minute. Oh, I just, that's not good. Uh oh. Um, I get a, do get a checkpoint at 32, I think. Oh. Alright, we're good. We're good. We got a checkpoint. So you can just go infinitely? Um, in theory, it could go forever, yeah. Um, so each one of these little squares, after, after the timer hits one minute, like you can see 125 is the longest I've ever gone, but it can go as quick as 101. Is that just bad RNG? Bad RNG. Yeah. Um, but you can also skip the end and just keep going forever if you want to, to just have like a big bitchin' high score. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Alright, that was cool. I wasn't planning on showing that one off. I'm happy we did. That's one of the better levels in the game. I would have been sad. M M M M yeah. M. <laughs> Hold on, what song is playing? So you can travel all through the world here. Let's go ahead and give um, this hot Yoshi level right here. Steepy Sprint. Yes. Um, so this one, Yoshi's running on his own. Oh. Um, listen, you can't, you can't tame these wild creatures, okay? They're invasive <laughs> species. They do what they want to do. Oh. Uh, so you have to hold up when you're, what well, you want Yoshi to up tongue. That didn't sound quite, <laughs> quite correct. This reminds me of one of the most popular, like, Kaiser levels to made for Mario Maker. I think Panga made it. When you have, have the wall that pushes you forward automatically. Yeah. Super popular back in the day. Uh, Panga Express. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Oh, my God. <laughs> Do you get crushed to death if you hit a wall? Yes. Okay. Yeah, you do get crushed to death. Yeah, I, I'm not, like, he's just running yeah. on his own. So right here, you'll see Yoshi's, they change colors. That's basically just a screen uh. to show you that they're going to change colors here. What do the colors do? Each Yoshi gets different abilities. Oh, okay. Another fire one. Oh, he's so oh, heavy. round pound. Okay. This one flies. Do we have Big Yoshi as well? <laughs> <laughs> I want to tell him to slow down, but he can't. I <laughs> know, uh, it's really hard for me to take in all the information. Oh! Nice. Nice. Yeah! fun. <laughs> this is fun. Y'all having a good time out there? Yeah! Hell yeah. I'm having Hell a yeah. Time. Hey, Elrock, what are you up to right now, my dude? What am I up to? Yeah. I'm up to some turtles. That's what I'm up to. This dude's just gaming. He's just gaming. That's all I do is game. Yo, Elrock, tell me first. about turtles. What about turtles? Why is it such one of, it's one of the like biggest arcade games ever. Why is it so popular? It was one of the first games to use a popular license at the right time and it just it struck a chord. Like have you seen the presentation of this game? It looks like an episode of the show. <laughs> of course it's gonna attract people who wanna play it. Yo, what kinda who, like I'm getting ready to do when you play it, who who what character do you play as? Donatello always. Donatello! The best, the best turtle! Okay. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have a long rant right here. Donatello is easily the best turtle. One, he provides all the technology that the team uses. Every bit of it, okay? Secondly, he's the only one that uses his weapon correctly. When's the last <laughs> time you've seen Raphael stab a dude? Never. That's true. Okay? We're going. Has Leo ever decapitated anyone? Not once. Not that I know. All right? He's giving people concussions with his bow staff on the daily. <laughs> like, what does Raphael even do besides cause problems and brew? Eat pizza? Raph makes really bad jokes. Hey, that's what he's here pizza, for. That's yeah. true. So anyway, yeah. We playing Donnie. Donnie's really good. 
Donnie's well, very, very good in this game. Range is king. Everything yeah. does the same damage, so Donnie's just swinging for the fences with his bow. Whoop! That's fine. Don't care about that. I don't love that. That's fine. There we go. How many people in here think they've spent over twenty dollars and quarters on Turtles arcade games? I mean, be the guest. Cool. Wait, are that was you, it? Uh, Nobody? I think most of us are too young for arcades, man. Screw you guys. Screw all of you. <laughs> Got a quick bus Chris, Where's Chris? Yeah, where's that big Chris? I know he's done it. Yeah. Make some, yeah, make some noise, you old fogies. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Unfortunate. Yeah, that got awkward for us, didn't it? Yeah, when we go to an arcade, it's like unlimited plays, ten dollar admission. That's Shut what we're used to. <laughs> Get some drop inputs here. Let me do my best. <laughs> May ask for a do over here. Yeah. All right, right now we're on. Yeah, let's do this over. We're on. What is this? This is rope burn. Oh. We're gonna be checking in with L Rock throughout the day. Uh, but you can see these different ropes. It's just like which way they to drag you. Oh no, not left again. I know. <laughs> <laughs> There's a hidden block right there. Got to avoid oh, it. Jesus. Yeah. Uh. Ooh, what? what? Did you go in between them? Yeah. Oh my. I know, CJ, because I always play games with you that I normally don't play, so I always forget you think I'm a bad gamer. I don't. Okay. <laughs> I think you're good at hiding. Oh, hey, if there's a bush, I'm in it. <laughs> <laughs> Never said you were a bad gamer. Just not a great gamer. <laughs> <laughs> Three dimensions is hard for me, bro. Yeah, that's fair. You know, it'd be so fun to make one of these ROM hacks before like a wonder. Imagine like a Kaizo wonder hack. There are a few are already coming out. Actually. Oh really? Yeah, there's nice. a few. I've seen a few levels, and they could do a lot of stuff with it already. Like shove nice. like multiple wonder seeds. And you know what? Thank you, audience who clapped. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, they have a lot of cool stuff you can do with it though. Nice. All right. Um. Actually, speaking of Mario, one. <laughs> <laughs> you want to redo that one? <laughs> you know, all the hard jumps I did, and then <laughs> like to just miss that one is just. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but speaking of Mario Wonder, uh, Barb uh, thought he had a bunch of original ideas in his game. He was just like, look at all these amazing original ideas I put in here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, hold on. Yep. And now we have Mario Wonder. Did you come up with it first, though? Uh, actually, this has been in ROM hacks since, like, 2012. Oh, really? When this ASM came out, yeah. Um, but it was really funny to tell Barb that he just copied. <laughs> All right, so nice little, you know, nice little wonder juggle right there. Oh, this bubble's going the distance. Nice. Oh, Let's go. Gee. All right, so uh, this part of the level, I will. Hey, made it. Um, this part of the level really is kind of like all rhythm, and I can't hear anything right now, so we're just going to roll with it. Um, luckily for us, my cock has really loud. Oh, you got the audio much. now. I really didn't need it, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> my cock isn't going to stop me from this level. Oh my gosh. All right, so this uh, coming up here, this has probably the coolest speed strat in the game here. I'm gonna try and do something 
It cuts like a legitimate 45 seconds off of this level. Normally you're supposed to... <laughs> <laughs> take two, take two, take yeah. two. You also gotta go fast, you know what I mean? Um, but normally you're supposed to do this big giant loop into the level. And we're gonna try and just cut off uh, most of that loop right here. Um, so we throw this, we're gonna go here, respawn it. So when are these changing? Is it on rhythm? Yeah, on rhythm. Um, the blue one, so we're gonna... Whoa! Nice. So I used the shell to hit that blue key switch twice. Oh. Yeah. No! Oh, they're fireballs. Someone die! Here we go. I think I'll have to hit it twice. No? Yo, let's nice. go! Yeah! Hell yeah! Hell yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, crowd, give yourselves a round of applause right here. Um, all right, so this is the Tower of Fate. For those who don't know, there is 81 random rooms. We have to beat anywhere between 8 and 20 of them. Okay. They're going to be completely random. And real gamers, there's an easy mode, which is between 8 and 20, and then there's the hard mode, which is all 81 straight rooms without dying. Real gamers like myself. <laughs> I've beaten that, yes. And Wait. you're doing it right now, right? No, I'm not going to do all of <laughs> What? <laughs> right, it, took me like, it took me like 30 hours. Come on. Oh, boo, y'all. You. They're we not, got all They're day. not booing. They're, poo they're saying poo. Oh. Yeah, they're saying poo. Oh, yeah. Poo earns. really feels like you're weaponizing that right now. Who earns. Is yellow the easy mode? Uh, Actually, you know what? I just got the... This. <laughs> Never mind. Never mind. Um, so I did get the easy mode, but I screwed it up. All right, we're going to get between 8 and 20 right here. They're going to be random. And if we suck, we just... Nope, yep, 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 okay. yep, that's fine, that's fine. That's fine. That's RNG fine. manipulation. RNG manipulation. Actually, the first one I got was RNG manipulation. I don't know. One! That's free. Oh, sticky ceilings? Ugh. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. Oh, that's three. Oh, I hate this one. Oh, nice. my God. Ignore that. Boom, five. Whoa. Oh, Ooh, six. Shit. Easy, seven. Fuck. Hold on one sec. <laughs> I'm gonna try and get the manipulation again. Or I'll just skip. Or I'll just skip this. But I really want you guys to see the boss in there. It's so much fun. Um, wait, this is the one. Oh my god, I just screwed up. Oh my god, I just screwed up really bad, actually. Oh, you weren't memeing about the manipulation? No, I wasn't memeing about the oh. manipulation. <laughs> but I just lost a checkpoint that I put for later. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, huh? Yeah, I, I just screwed up really bad. You did leave that. Yep. So is this required in speedruns? Yes. Oh, that's fun. That's awesome. Love some good old-fashioned RNG. Oh, 
That's uh, dirty. All right, we might have to skip this, guys. Uh, this might take a while. This happens to me all the time. One. I could it. Yes. This stupid ass mole. <laughs> so dumb. Three. the high end of it? 20. Oh, Jesus. No. Oh. All right, one more, one more attempt, and I have to skip this. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. We'll do, we'll give it one more, one more college try. That's free. Free. Oh. At least you guys Ew. are getting a good look at, oh, never mind. Yeah, this is Meth Shark, and he's just... Oh my god, oh, oh my god, oh my god. Oh! <laughs> Holy shit! Holy shit! Oh! I felt like I was getting chased by a shark in real yeah. life. <laughs> That one is cool. Nice. Come on. Oh, fuck me. Oh. All right, all right. At the end of it, there's a Dance Dance Revolution thing. Go to my stream. What? I'm sorry. I got to go. I got to. We got to keep going. It was all a plug. It was all a plug. I'm sorry. Boo. Yeah. Boo. You know what? You can say poo all you want. You can say <laughs> poo all you want. Uh, you know what? You know what? If I do the final boss, we'll go back, okay? If we do the final boss nice and quick, we'll go back. So you're giving yourself like, a time limit here? What's up? You're giving yourself a time limit yeah, here? Yeah, you know, I'm giving myself a time limit. Um, I wanted to show off as much as I could. That guy looks like a minion. Uh, he's fishing dude. And he's a dick. He looks like a minion. Uh, for those who don't realize what's happening right here, basically the dead ghosts, you see this little unk? They're coming back to life is the idea. And then the skulls kill them. They become okay. ghosts. You know what I mean? Oh. Oh. Bye, Yoshi. Now he's dead for real. Yep, and the same thing. So the lava, yeah. the lava just causes <laughs> everything to shift here. That's... This is really dark. Yeah. <laughs> this one's my favorite. No. <laughs> this is cruel. That's that. For the record, when you throw a Yoshi into lava, they turn into a block. Okay. Thus helping Mario even further. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, you know, it's really cool to be here in Boston, Massachusetts, one of the original 13 colonies, right? <laughs> 
Right. And in honor of that, I figured we give Mario the most American thing we can, a good old musket. Yo! <laughs> yeah. That's what I'm talking about, baby. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I wasn't ready for the USA chant to bust out. <laughs> but I appreciated it, though. All right, so we're using the, the bullet here as a propulsion Ooh. device. This is so sick. And you can also jump off of them. What? Oh, OK. Uh-huh. You can also, uh, like, if you shoot one and then jump into it before it lands, that's not good. OK, this part is, like, the hardest jump in the game. Oh, my god. Oh, you should have failed it. That looked really easy. I know, right? Yeah. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Yeah. USA! 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 Uh, feels good. How's it feel, Linkus? Oh. Feels good. It's the true American experience. Uh, this is what you always dreamed of. <laughs> Right here, this is the puzzle, and I, I don't want to spoil the puzzle for you guys. Barb puts a puzzle in his games for me. I love escape rooms. I love them even more when they're in my Mario games. So basically, he builds escape rooms uh, for me. Everyone else hates them. They hate okay. them. Um, so there's specific, oh, I forgot, okay. So there's, there's a whole list of things, a way that you can figure it out. You had to do some algebra. Don't worry uh. about that. I'm literally going in here because I want you guys to see um, there's a picture in here that means a lot to me. And I just want everyone to see it. Okay. Uh, let's see, this one. So how did you solve these puzzles? Is it... This one and then spring. Uh, this one you have to do like some algebra. Right. There's some algebra, and then you have to count every all these symbols that are on the map, and then that give you and each, so each number has a corresponding item that you figure out through an algebra. Anyway, so you go that, you do that. Then there's five songs in the overworld, and with those songs, there's Gangsters Paradise, there's Hot Drinks, there's Never Gonna Give You Up, right? And if you take those songs in order. Gangster's Paradise as I walk through the valley with the shadow of death. I take a look at my life and realize there's nothing left. Down, down. Hot drinks is right, up, right, right. Oh, wait, sorry. Hold on. Left, down, down, right, up. Wait. Left, down, down, right, up, right, up, up, right, up, 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 down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Oh, really simple. Wait, wait. Left, down, down. Wait, up, right, up, up, right. Up, 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 right, up, down, 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 up, down. There we go. Yeah, there it is. Okay. Anyway, I wanted to show you guys this. Everybody grab your friend and give him a hug. Grab your friend and give him a hug right now. Everybody grab someone and give him a hug. Feels good. Brotherly love. Yep. As you can see, I was very happy in this picture. You look really happy. I was really happy. Very happy. I felt like a child. Yeah. Your long lost father. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Um, so, before we started, I put a checkpoint on so I wouldn't have to do the cape section. Oh, it's safe. Hell yeah, never mind. What? Hell yeah, let's go. Final boss, let's go. Woo! I'll go back and do the, the other boss oh, no. since this fixed itself. So, this is Dry Bones Bowser. He's got three phases. Each phase, he needs to be hit with a bomb three times. Oh, this is cool. This is dope. And then it's going to get just progressively harder and harder and harder. Um, I can't hit him in this phase, which is annoying. Oh my god, those spikes. Those spikes, dude, they get, just wait, it gets so much worse. 
Is it RNG or is it the same? Um, so it's uh, so the what what he cycles through is RNG, like the way he picks his attacks, like yeah. one, two, three, four, five. Mm -hmm. But once he picks them, they'll be the same for that cycle. Okay. So now he picks like five different or six different attacks. I think he adds one right here. Oh, see, I screwed up. Oh. That was my fault. You don't want to hit him when he's doing the spikes. Because it freezes yeah. it? Yeah. Um, and then you can also get bonus bombs whenever he hits the wall, and you really want those bonus bombs. Oh, shit. So the spikes come up underneath you, so you can kind of, like, pick where they're going if you're skilled. <laughs> Alright, oh. so now, yeah, so, oh, I got the glitch, which is awesome. I got the glitch. This is really good. So usually there's a barrage of bombs that follow you right oh. here. But I got a glitch, so we get no bombs. This is great. <laughs> Huge. Nice. This is great. Alright, and now here we go. So now we lose ground. Oh, no. Yeah. This is the last phase. Oh, Aww. Yeah, it's never, the last phase. Never mind. At least now we really believe that it's actually hard. Before we thought it was easy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah I hope you get that glitch again. Uh, well, the good news is, is that once you get it once, it stays forever. Oh, oh, oh yeah. nice. Yeah, so um, that's what's really cool about this because, you know, it's a ROM hack and not a real game. Technically, this game hasn't even been accepted by SMW Central yet because it's still in a quote-unquote state. But like development state? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what they... I, they rejected it for some reason. I forget what it was. Bunch of nerds. Nerds. Yeah. <laughs> I consider myself a normie personally. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Oh, bonus bomb. Bonus nice. bomb. Nice. Oh, yes. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, no, I hit myself. Oh. oh, no. I hit myself. That's the one that sunk. That, it really sucks with the bombs because occasionally. Um, also, like, it, it'll adjust, like, whether you get a left one or a right one first when they shoot that. So you can see, I got the glitch again, technically, but you Ooh. can see when he like dribbles off the screen. So I'm gonna go over here because I want him to throw spike first. So if he throws spike first, I'll be over here. Well, he didn't, so now we're screwed. Oh, he did throw Ooh. spike, that's good. Because you want to get the spike in the... In the holes? In the holes, yeah. if you can. Oh my god. This music is going crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. whatever you want it. Oh, no. Woo. Oh. 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 Is that it? Oh. 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 my oh. God. I got lucky on that one. I got lucky. I got a stomach. Oh, I got lucky. Right. And then this is kind of like your Tears of the Kingdom, Zelda, Breath of the Wild final moment. Um, it is, it is, you if you... Love auto scroller. Yeah, if you charge it right here, you actually kill Bowser, so you want to just get charges in there. Um, but you can do regular shots or charge shots. But basically, you just charge, and then it goes. If you touch Bowser himself, you die. Also, I don't know why my wood ship is so much smaller than his wood ship. <laughs> it is so much smaller. I don't, the size doesn't don't matter. Don't worry about man. it, man. It's okay. Ooh. Oh. oh. The Forsaken. Turtle. Hey! hey! All right. Are you guys cool if we go back to Tower of Fate real quick and try and get it? Yeah, 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 let's, let's, do, it. It. let's, do, it. let's do it. We got we got some time. Elrock, how you doing over there? Doing good. Starting up some Wrestlefest. Oh, Wrestlefest! This is my game chat. 
<laughs> that is my game right there. Gonna be doing some Royal Rumble, playing his Smash of Demolition. Shout out to Barry Darso. Hole in one Barry Darso, no less. Wow. Deep cut. We putting on the gear. We're heading to the ring. We're gonna throw people out. Guy tells us it doesn't work for him, brother. He's out of here. WrestleFest is one of my all-time favorite arcade games. All right, I'll, I'll give Warrior this a good. Down. I'll give this a good few tries here. Um, this is very hard. Round. He's random, out. So. Oh shit! I don't know. DBS has got the hot tag. All right, here. Yeah, yeah, that's the hot tag. You can't win anything. <laughs> All right, Poods, now or never. Was that some RNG manip? Yeah, I tried. I missed it. What does it do? Uh, it gives you uh, the same eight rooms, but it's for sure eight. Oh, okay. Yeah. It doesn't matter. I missed it, so we're just gonna we're just gonna roll with it. I don't know why, but. <laughs> That's so oh, I love that kick. That's so sick. That is so nice. Three. I hate this one. Oh. Uh. Oh. Oh my okay. God, that's horrible. That is horrible. <gasps> oh, he Whoa. didn't. He didn't wake nice. up. Boing. Seven. I'm praying for you. Oh. Eight. Oh, shit. Oh, no. This makes me scared of going to Hawaii. <laughs> ah! Oh. Oh, all right, let's try the RNG manipulation one more time. I'm just going to try it one more time. This will be the last time if I don't get it. Well, you all can literally boo me this time if I don't get it, all right? I want to see the DDR. So it's, it's very cool. Um, I even have a dance pad at home to try and do it. <laughs> nice. Very hard. So does the RNG Minip guarantee eight? Guarantees eight and the same eight, but they are a hard eight. Thank you. Did you mess it up? You, no, I got it. Oh. How did you time it? Uh, it's FFA on the okay. timer, and then, but you also have to be on the right pixel. That's sick. So it's like what frame and what pixel you go in on. Yeah. Oh. oh. Nice. <laughs> oh my god, not today, minions. That one doesn't seem that bad. Four. Five. Come on, Poo. Oh. All right, we got to do this. We got to do this. We have to do it. <laughs> yeah. We have to do it. Come on. God. Oh, man. We got to do it. We got to do it. I should have made a save for this, too. <laughs> All right. <gasps> so what does the timer even mean? Um, it's just hex, hex code. Oh, okay. Doesn't count. Okay, 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 yeah. okay, okay. This is this is like this is like when you're at GDQ and you're trying to do this like one glitch as a donation incentive, and you keep screwing it up, and you're like, why did I even submit this? Why didn't I even talk about this? You know what I mean? Right, right. <laughs> Happens all the time. Hey, you know what? You know what? I'm not getting this chat. I need one more drink. I need to get another yeah. drink. That's what it is, right? Round of applause for another drink. Oh my Come God, on. Three in a row. 
I said round of applause for it. <laughs> That's so, that wasn't that much better. All right. My time. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Guess you'll just have to go watch nice the stream. <laughs> Coming up next, we're going to have CJ uh, doing Super Mario Odyssey. In the meantime, let's throw it over to L Rock while we switch, get, we switch games and check out what L Rock is doing over on the arcade machine. Still playing some WrestleFest. Grinding Ooh. these attempts. We are in the Rumble. We're going to still try and toss people. See if I can toss Mr. Perfect. Hey, there he goes. Goes Kurt Angle. So Royal Rumble is really random. Essentially, what you want to do is, much like in a standard battle royal, you want to toss guys out as quick as you can. That can be really difficult because enemy behavior in this game is wildly random, and it's an arcade game, so it's not in your favor ever. Right now, I'm just gonna kind of hold out because I'm not really in a good spot. Got to fight one of the Road Warriors. Road Warriors are basically bosses in this game. They're they're pretty hard to deal with. Yeah, there comes the problem. I got reversed, and now I lose. All right, let's go for the best. Uh, okay, nobody here. Uh, can I toss Jake? Uh, I get a backbreaker first. That's fine. Mash out of a tie-up. I hope oh, I didn't get it. They took the good juice today. Toss that way. There we go. I can win this one. All right, cool. I can go for a tap out. Might be able to tap out a Road Warrior if Earthquake doesn't touch me. Man, they have so much health. Let's see what I can do here. Backbreaker for this Road Warrior. Oh, cool. Got the tie up win. See if I can toss Hawk. Hawk's really hard to get thrown. There we go. Demolition explodes. Uh, immediately take it down. Okay, so. As I mentioned before, Royal Rumble is really fast. It's it's really tenuous because you really don't have a lot of time to be able to try to get what you want done to get done. But the good news is runs of it run really quickly. The all the top times are like sub three minutes, so it's just a you know reset grind, reset grind, reset grind. Uh, no, don't touch me. Y'all can go bother each other. Sometimes it's just about doing this. Beat the clock. Clock's a jerk. Okay, got a little bit of health back. Gosh, they're so opportunistic. All right, so from here, I, since I'm trying to once you see it, I'm not going to be putting in more quarters. I'm going to be volleying this here. Uh, I did not want to do that. Yay, overlapping inputs. Uh, let me see if I can get this. Okay, I got that. We'll take the earthquake down with some jabs. Go for the pin. Can we get the three? Hey, we won the rumble. Let's go. <coughs> One quarter. Let's go. <coughs> Good old demos. Thanks, everybody, for watching that. This game's a lot of fun. I love the fact that Grand Pooh Bear loves it, too. <coughs> First game he told me about. We're going to do S, then R, then S. Speed run sessions, GG. Let's go find something else to play, shall we? Play a little bit of X-Men. X-Men 97 started up this week, so we'll play a little bit of this. Played a pretty good amount of this game. we got to let it load up. It's got to go through its whole 
cycle and whatnot here. <clears throat> Love it. Love the crane. All right, so X-Men, Storm's the best character. We're playing as her. Every character but Cyclops is good. We're going to play as Storm. Storm has essentially what Donatello has in other games, just entirely too much range. Got this attack that goes almost the whole screen. I could just prod enemies. And essentially, it's just tunnels your way through the game like a buzzsaw. Enemies just can't interact with you if you're hitting them from a full screen-ish. Very few enemies can interact with that. I'm going to deal with that. Take that down. Da, 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 da. The first stage is just, <coughs> much like any arcade game, a good intro stage. Teach you the basics, teach you how to play the game. We get to hit enemies standing, we get to throw enemies sometimes, we get to hit enemies on the ground. We have these giant enemies. These enemies have another name, but I call them Samus's because they look like Samus from Metroid. Take out this guy. <coughs> Excuse me. Hit this. <coughs> okay, a little line of enemies here before we get to our boss. First stage is really short. We see the first boss pretty quickly. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so we have Pyro. Pyro's pretty easy, but there's a really easy strat I like to show off for him. <coughs> we just get to keep him in the corner with dive kicks. And he's not going to be able to get out. As long as my timing's always good. This isn't fast, but it's effective, and it's really funny. <coughs> Never going to be able to get out. Also, GG on GPW3. <coughs> Excuse me. Poke all these people. <coughs> okay, so stage two elaborates on things a little bit. We fight mostly the same enemies. We do get these new green Samuses though, who have better anti-air power than the other ones do. So the goal for them is just don't jump. Simple. <coughs> this guy hit a turret. Got these walking turrets here. I'll be able to take care of them pretty handily. Where are you going? There we go. You can pin these guys in the corner, you can take them out pretty handily. They have a lot of health, so if I can knock them prone, it's all the better. Also, I don't know if any of you watched X97. I watched the first episode. I thought it was really cool. Looking forward to checking out episode two when I get back home. Take this out. <coughs> Excuse me. You can power the wall down. <coughs> Mutant powers are something that we don't really get to take a lot of advantage of in this run, since I don't play credit feeding. Just try to range out everything. They got these guys. <coughs> okay. Ooh, reach with a fireball, very good. This guy out, onto our second boss. Here we have Blob. Blob's pretty easy when you're Storm, because you can just do this and you can't do anything about it. We get to poke at him from all the way over here. He can't do anything. Here we gotta do it twice, dodge some my frames, do it again. And there we go. Easy peasy. This game may be wildly unfair, but I still love it. Still blows my mind this was based on a pilot of a show that never actually happened. Huh, I missed the OTG, that's interesting. Uh, do that. Stage three, we get a, they, I should say, get an enemy upgrade. We have to fight these lizard men now who only have one attack, but it's actually really good against Storm. Mainly because it jumps over her best attack. So I'd like to not get hit by that if at all possible. 
Uh, okay, that's not good. I definitely did not want that to happen. All right, I gotta space out some some enemies real, real quick. And have these flowers spawn. Get up here as quick as up as I can. <sighs> that's very unfortunate. With proper positioning, you can um, you can take those things out in three hits, but that just wasn't meant to be this time, I guess. It's kind of tough. Especially when you're just used to throwing a mutant power and taking care of it, but I just didn't have the health to accommodate that. <coughs> Toss that out. Okay, don't want to deal with that. If any enemy gets knocked on, off screen, they get to get up immediately and just try to approach you, so not having that. Do this, do this. Okay, so here we have the B fight. I think I can spend a tornado here and be okay. All right, cool. Very quick work there. Just gonna line up up here. Better to have all enemies in front of you if you can deal with it, if you could do that. Enemies flanking you from either side usually spells bad news. Don't want it. There we go. So again, my goal from here, only having three health, is to just get hit as little as I can. If I get hit by one of those tail swipes, I'm in a lot of trouble, because I'll be down to one, and then I can't do anything. That was very unlucky. Enemy grouping in this game is kind of tough, because you can only hit two enemies at a time. So if a third enemy wanders their way in like that guy did there, he has iframes. Just kind of have to respect it. Part's unfortunate for you is they get to dictate the pace and stuff like that. Corner them here. Okay, good enough. A little scared here. I'm only on one health. I do have one benefit, though. Also, this is the best line of video game history, so y'all pay attention. Welcome to die. Down the canyon. Okay, I couldn't remember how many of these things we had to fight. I thought it was only two, but I guess not. So the benefit of being this low on health is that this stage's boss is really easy. Wendigo is never going to be a threat. He gets outspaced by our best attack all the time. So we're just going to be able to do this. He can't get in if I don't want him to. And of course I don't want him to. Why would I want that? I'm almost dead. I do want to make sure I avoid his throw though. If he throws me, I have no answers. He shouldn't as long as I keep good distance. I just can't get greedy. Hit that. Do this. There we go. Good beats. Still in our first life. Heading to the cave. Not sure what's going on with his chin. I guess it just prods out. We all know Charles doesn't have facial hair. These guys. Stage four to me is where the game really starts to try to take it up a notch for a multitude of reasons. Has a lot of really strong enemy variety and segments. By that I mean the way that enemies are segmented in terms of like what you have to fight and win is actually pretty well put together. Takes some practice to be able to adjust to. This one? Like these lizards definitely got an upgrade. They can breathe fire now. We don't want anything to do with that. Like why would you want to fight Dalsum, you know? Hit this guy. Okay, cool. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up again for El Rock. He's going to be continuing playing some arcade games over there. Appreciate it, Pooh. Thank you. One of the greatest in the world. If you want to check out the end of his X-Men run, it's going on right now. But coming up next year on the consoles, we saw some classic Mario. Actually, yeah. ironically, that came out in 2023. Now classic. we're going to see some 2018 modern Mario. Give it up, ladies and gentlemen, for CJ Young. <laughs> How's it going? How's it going, everyone? We are playing uh, Mario Odyssey today, as you know it, but it is slightly different. Uh, Crafty Boss here. He doesn't have a mic, so he can't say hi to you, but he, he made a mod, and it's pretty simple. Just skips a bunch of cutscenes. Lincoln, can you hand me that cocktail? My man. Hey, everyone, give it up for Reed right there in the yellow hat. This is, this is his first video game event he's ever been to right there. All right, go ahead. Sorry. All right, now you're good. He brought good. me a drink. I wanted to give him props. Uh, so timing's going to start 
not where it normally starts. It's actually going to start right here. Right here? Because we're going to be skipping... <coughs> Right? It does start here, right? We're skipping okay. cutscenes? We're skipping cutscenes. So it starts in three, two, one. Oh. Good I'm going to start. Fun. <laughs> and then we're just going to go straight into the game. It loads for a sec. You know, it's not that good. We already have Cappy. I think it breaks if you don't have Cappy right at the start, right? Uh, so we're just rushing through. <coughs> And this is like going to skip all these lame cutscenes. Yeah, so you'll see. It, it'll be pretty clear to see once we get like. Well, the first one you're going to see is inside the tower. Once well, this, you this, the now I just feel cheated. <laughs> the fact that we <laughs> right, got a cutscene right, right now. Right, right. Now, some just aren't able to be skipped. <laughs> oh, it, well, would you look at that? We got an issue with the mod, I guess. But it's fine. It's fine. So no more you're going to see right here with the frog, we just go straight in, which is really nice. r weird and actually really throws me off. I kind of wish it didn't do that. Hey, could you explain vectoring to me? No. Yes, explain <laughs> vectoring to me. I could not. You'd so have I to understand ask, it. You'd have to ask like a scientist. Okay, correct me if I'm wrong, but the way I picture vectoring, uh -huh. okay, yeah. is that, okay, so you know when you fly to like, from San Francisco to Japan, you actually go over Alaska, right? Yep. You don't fly around the widest part of the world. You go up to the narrowest part, fly left, and then fly down, right? So in my mind, that's what vectoring is. Is like the world is round. Mario's world is round. Okay. And you're just going to the, <laughs> the skinny parts yeah. of it. And then, am I wrong? Like where you're at is the equator all the time. I couldn't tell you. And then when you cruise, you're kind of... I can't hear the game, by the way, at all. <laughs> I'll take a little audio. Um, no, I have no idea. I just You go diagonal and it makes you fast. That's all I know. <laughs> so <laughs> if you're looking for that answer, then I got you. All right, di go diagonal, make you fast. All right, so fast. now we're going to see some skips. It's going to skip these cutscenes real quick uh, once we load in. Boom, Love boom, boom. Nice. Oh, my God. But you're really going to see the difference in the moons because, uh, well, you'll see on this first moon right here. Oh, wait, wrong route. First moon skip. Forgot I can do that. This is a 1.0 only trick that doesn't work anymore, but these mods are all done on the old version. So we're able to skip the first moon and save some time by just going straight to Madame Brood. Live routing right here. Live exactly. routing. Yeah, I just remembered at the last second. Classic dino skip. Who you can do dino skip. That, you know what? This was in. <clears throat> Anything that happened okay, the first yeah, month of the bad. run, I got. Right. You know? that was <laughs> right. That. Yeah. No, that one's always there. But, uh, I mean, really, it is just regular any percent. There's not too much to, to yap about. We're just skipping cutscenes, and we're going to try to get world record today. World record's 56 minutes and 11 seconds. We're going to try to beat that. For some reason, I think you're going to be good. I don't know, Pooh. It's, it's a hard record. Tyrone's a really good player. What do you mean? <laughs> I mean... So when I timed it out, when I had my one hour, 10 minute run, I yeah. think 32 minutes were cutscenes. So I yeah. feel pretty confident in your ability. Okay, yeah, but not all the cutscenes are being skipped, as you can see, but like we're going to skip past that one. <laughs> yeah, we I just think go we're boom be good right today. to the end. It is very disorienting and it kind of stresses me out because there's a lot less downtime than I'm used to. Yeah. I can chill, take a sip of water normally, but no, not really. The only time is like in between kingdoms. Oh, I. Oh, so hard, that's, boo. that's really embarrassing. But there we go. See, once we grab a moon now, this is the first time we're really going to see it. Uh, you can just. Can I do this? What the? What just happened? I genuinely have no idea what happened there. All right, it's fine. Oh, yeah, we're moving myself. through. Cool. Yeah, I can hear you now. There we go. <laughs> I couldn't hear myself before. You know, I'm a bit rusty, so don't <laughs> It's fine, it's fine, good. I was too. Pooh is rusty too. <laughs> Just don't boo me. I actually don't give you guys permission, <laughs> so please don't do that. Yeah, if they boo us, we don't have an excuse like, oh, they're actually saying poo. Like, for yeah, us, it's no. <laughs> they're still just saying poo, don't no, they're worry. Saying poo, oh, okay. They're okay. still okay. saying poo. They all yeah. have to go poo. They're really excited to be here. Right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so these in-between kingdom parts uh, can't be skipped, ever. And we're just going to leave it at that. So we're going to have to sit here, listen to Cappy, yada, yada, yada. I mean, it's sped up a little bit, but not really. Look, I tried to get this whole part removed before this stream started. Yeah. It almost worked. 
But uh, you can't leave Cloud Kingdom, so. Yeah, no, it did work, but then it broke the game halfway through. I mean, I had a fix. You just didn't want me to try it. No, because I didn't want it to break in the actual thing, <laughs> <laughs> which I think is fair. All right, and now we're in sand. We're going to see the real speed now because uh, there's a lot of moons to get here other than the five that we got in the last kingdom. We're getting 16. This is one of my favorite kingdoms. Sand Kingdom is very satisfying when it's done right. Yeah. yeah. Otherwise, it, it can be very frustrating. Oh! I did miss that. I jumped a little too early. Oh my god, you see how weird that is? <laughs> Alright, hold on, I gotta go change the time real quick. So explain why you're changing the time so real I quick plant, to anyone who doesn't I planted know. a seed, it takes 20 minutes to grow, 20 real life minutes, based on the clock of the Switch. But I mean, if you just set the clock forward a month, I mean, that's plenty of time. Yes. <laughs> it's going to take it forward, and the second that we leave here, seed will be fully grown. I mean, it, it's faster than any other, like, alternate moon. So nice. uh, it's not too bad to get. It would be faster if I just removed that entire sequence. <laughs> I could right. just make it grow instantaneously. Well, not everything has to be done with modding. <laughs> Now, there is a better way to do it by using daylight savings time, but um, I don't really know the timing with this because I haven't played this mod yeah. that many times. Normally, you have to be like consistent down to about five seconds up to that point, which isn't that bad when you've done it a bunch. Whoops. Uh, but when I haven't, I think I've ran this like three times, so I really don't know how long it would take. And I'm going to be doing a route that I've never done before. Um, oh my god, I love how fast that is. Yeah. So much, this so is so satisfying. much better. It's just making me hate regular Mario Odyssey. <laughs> well, I don't want to do that. Oh, nice. beautiful. That was nice. That was nice. That worked very well. So we're going to be doing a different route that I don't technically really know how to do that well, but we're just going to wing it. Uh, this is what they do in the world records now. So I watched it once this morning and went, all right, got it. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. Wait, where this. are you going? We're going up here. Uh, this is called Reverse Jaxi. Um, oh, God, it's so weird. <laughs> then we're going to go here. We're going to grab this while we're manipulating this bullet bill into hitting this block wow. for us. Wow! Nice. That was sick. Oh, no! Oh. Okay, so now we just go... Come on. Oh. All right, and then we're going to do platform clip, which I don't really know how to do. Oh, God, I was just... My timing was off. It's all right. Um, I'm on a weird timing here now. Will it work? Okay. So we're just going to clip through the floor here. I nice. barely just learned how to do that. Oh, got to heal real quick. That kind of ruins the mod, I guess. Uh, we did that because we need to get coins. That's the fastest way to get in here and just grab some coins. That's all I really need. That was sick. <laughs> I like then, you barely uh, grabbed any of them, by the way. It's just like, any coins. No, he grabbed like them. 10 yeah. coins. You yeah. need like 30 or 40. Like, it's not a big deal. But 300 coins in there. He grabs yeah. 10. <laughs> in the new version of the game, you can get the Luigi hint hearts which are super easy and simple, but it, we're playing in the first version, so there's nothing like that. That was dope. So that yeah, there's nice. Sand Kingdom. Yeah, and the actual, like, good runners, when they do that, when they do that platform clip, they use, like, camera angles to not load it in, to have it be on the perfect cycle. I don't know how to fucking do yeah. that. So. <laughs> <laughs> I just decided to wing it. It works out. It Second works. try is not it worked. bad. It's good. Oh, this mic is... Mm. I forgot like to hit A. That's a time loss. <laughs> I feel like you forget and underestimate how much time these minor cutscenes, by the way, that they removed here, yeah. like actually takes. Like oh, I yeah. can't remember the exact amounts, but for example, like a Breath of the Wild 100% run, that little Korok animation, you know, like it's really short. But I think in a full 100% run, I think it's almost two hours of the run is spent oh. on oh just that God. animation because there's 900 of them. There's not yet. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I guess but even in sense. this, it's like you know. Even 100% of this game, it's what 800 moons, and even in this, what 120, I think. 120, yeah. Yeah, so it still stacks up to be minutes. And yeah. Then. Oh yeah, it's a lot. All right, in the leg, where normally we do a, a certain route that avoids the boss, but since the cutscenes are skipped, the boss fights are actually faster. 
and <laughs> thread the needle right there. I'm actually faster in a few of these kingdoms. I don't know why I was impressed you just like split those Goombas, actually. Oh, I was impressed, too. Yeah. I didn't think it was going to work. Oh, it's so disorienting still. No out-of-bounds clip? No, because like I so when you do that out-of-bounds clip, you skip the boss fight, and that's yeah. what makes it faster. Oh, okay. Um, but since we're skipping a lot of the cutscenes, it would only be about three seconds faster with the cutscene. Yeah. So without the cutscene, it's probably about a second or two faster to just do the normal route. That's easier and makes me less embarrassed if I, because I won't mess it up. Oh, jeez, I can't see anything. Yep. All right, now we're gonna bully Rango. Poor guy's barely gonna leave his hat. This is this kind of like reminds me of 64 nonstop and how yeah. much better yeah. of a run oh, that yeah. is too. It's really similar. Yeah, and I, I really like it too. Yeah. And it only has potential to get better. Yeah. It yeah. can get better. We can skip the capture cutscenes potentially. We what do you What do you guys think the possibility that a Switch 2 launches with a new 3D Mario? Oh, 100 percent. I think the fact that it's been we're about to hit seven years. Yeah. And we haven't seen another 3D Mario when it was right. It was so simple. It was right there. Yeah. Uh, I think 100%. Definitely won't be an Odyssey 2 at this point. You don't think yeah. it's Odyssey 2? It's been too no long. Way. Really? If they do Odyssey 2 now, I'll be mad at them. See, I don't know if I can go back to not jumping off my hat, though. I agree. It's going to feel horrible. It's <laughs> yeah. going to feel horrible. Like, how do I play 3D Mario and not jump on my hat? They need again. something similar. I mean, Bowser's Fury brought back power ups. And Browser's that. Fury is not as fun to just run around in as, <laughs> as Odyssey. Yeah, yeah. Too yeah, much that's water. Fair. Yeah. <laughs> well, they could come up with a new mechanic because it's sort of similar with Flood and Sunshine, in my opinion, Spot. as the cap, letting you extend your in midair time. That's yeah. Fun. It's slower for sure than, you know, the satisfaction of Cappy, but still. I thought, Bring back Flood. I thought Cappy hit, like, the perfect amount of, like, this requires a little bit of skill yeah. to do, you know what I mean? It's like, yeah. Like, even Why now, you've been playing a billion years, yeah. and you're still probably not... You're probably, like, 99.9% .9 yeah. under. But right. every once in a while, you might miss one, you know? That is true. I, when I 100% of the game, I never realized you could even bounce on Cappy, though. <laughs> what? Full 100% of the game. Wait, you played 100% of the game and didn't realize you could jump off the hat? Yeah. Is that even possible? How did you yeah. do no, it? No, it's never required. Oh. Really? Yeah. So we're going to be trying wow. Nutclip here anyways. Um, and it's bad. It's hard enough already, and I'm very rusty with it, but it's even harder with this mod. Oh. Uh. Uh, it's even harder with the mod, because it is uh, just really, you get no time to think or anything. You just have yeah. to know exactly what to do. So we'll see. He wants no. you to hold it closer. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, we did not get nut clip. Just really sad for me, honestly. You shouldn't even have said anything. We all would have been like, oh, yeah, great nut clip. Yeah, <laughs> yeah but it would, have been, it. it would have been cool if I got it for real. Sorry, guys. Oh, oh okay. That's a cool idea. Oh, yeah, stand you, can, on. you can just stand on that wall, by the way. I don't know why. And then you can just run up that wall if you spam jump. It's really weird. I don't get why these things are possible, but I'm glad they are. <laughs> Oh, man, you're getting every nut. Oh. We had a vector there, but... Yeah, you got to get all the nuts. I think you get, like, seven nuts. I think you just saw me get, like, four in a row already. Whoops. I think I it's see. funny because as a casual, I feel like you just assume you have to beat the boss to complete the stage the right. first time. You would so it's think still that. weird to me to get these fast moves and never go to the actual boss in some of them. Yeah, well, normally you don't go for the boss. Again, it's about three seconds faster to not go to the boss. We are going to go to the boss this time because uh, the cutscene gets skipped, so why not? It's easier, I guess. Oh, that's clean. Cool. I know. I love when you see, like, strats that were in, like, day one, but then they're, like, so much cleaner and everything yeah, now. Right, you know exactly. what I mean? Like, yeah. I love seeing. Those, those are, like, my favorite things to see is, like, when there's a strat that doesn't really evolve, but it's just, like, these micro evolutions of it the yeah. whole time. Yeah. Yeah. God damn, this is hot. Yeah. It's, you know, this guy's pretty good. I don't know. I'll, I say that. I'm, I'm going to fuck up real bad soon. I can just <laughs> feel it. It's coming. Did 
This is one of those parts where not getting the moon feels weird. I don't know why. It's just like I kind of just keep walking. Oh, like nothing yeah. bothers me. Same there. Just keep falling. It's so bizarre. It's awesome. But I think you don't realize how I've played this game like 2,500 hours or something. And um, suddenly just completely changing the flow of it. Yeah. It's such a weird feeling. Thanks a lot, Crafty. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, it's really hard to hear all of you, so I'm trying my best. Oh yeah, huh, you don't have a headset. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying my best here. Like, I can't hear Linkus at all. If he's ever talking, Hi. I will be talking over you. <laughs> <laughs> it's better this way, don't worry. At least this will give you good practice, like, read lips. He's also what? just looking <laughs> at the screen. <laughs> he's also just looking at the screen, so there's nothing like that. All right, on to Cloud Kingdom. Also known as... Um, this scares me. The kingdom that crashed the game earlier. Yeah, but ho I am. Hopefully it's fine now. <laughs> yeah, so Crafty, explain to us. So this broke right before we went live. And Crafty, you were fixing this right before we went live. What were you fixing? Okay, so the story is I broke it. I was the one that <laughs> broke it. Because there was something that I added to this that was going to make uh, the run a lot shorter, kind of. Um, every time you go between kingdoms, uh, you have that little like cutscene where Cappy talks to you and you're inside yeah, the yeah, Odyssey. You're about to see it. What right I wanted to do is I wanted to remove that, and I had figured out a way to do it. Um, but the problem is that it doesn't happen when you're going to a kingdom for the first time. Like it still plays everything just fine. Uh, and so I figured out a different way to skip it. But as a result, Cloud Kingdom just doesn't doesn't end. load. Yeah, or, or Cloud Kingdom works. Oh, it just doesn't end. Yeah, it never takes you to the next kingdom. It just it just is stuck on the. Uh, the loading he, screen. He needs to talk to Cappy after that. It's an important oh, yeah, call. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, right, right in the what face. What the hell? Right in the face. That's because of the cutscene, by the way. It's Crafty's fault. This game has a ridiculous amount of hard code. It's it's terrifying. All right, that was a little embarrassing, but we're just gonna ignore that. I didn't even it's, notice it anything wrong. It is one of those things that where uh, my flow got messed up because I didn't skip the cutscene myself. So I was just like a split second later to start moving towards Bowser. There's so many tiny little things like that. I did two practice runs like a month ago to be ready for this, but that's about all I got. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I was traveling. We had, we had a total of six practice runs between the three of us. <laughs> <laughs> I was traveling, I can't be blamed. That was a nice one up. I mean, you got world yeah. record on both of them, though, didn't you? I did. I did get world record on both. Okay. I mean, no, I've never done that. So this is really hard. Yeah. And I'm hoping to do it for the first time today. <laughs> this is really cruising, by the way. Like, <laughs> It is. We're only 18 minutes in. 18. Wow. Do you know what normally your pace roughly would be if this was not... 90 minutes, kingdom? usually. 19? I, I think right here, no, right here is like a half hour-ish. 25 oh, okay. minutes, I want to say. Um, I messed up a little. It's because Linkus was talking. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I feel a lot of pressure because last time I ran Odyssey at one of these, I got a PB. And it was really sick. And now I, I'm just set up to fail. The last time, actually the last time you did one of these, you were in New York, right? Yeah, it was in yeah. New York. I got a PB. I, di I didn't know if Boston would boo that or not. I was, I was waiting <laughs> oh. for it. I have less pressure because I died and lost like 15 minutes in that run. So I'm kind of like, oh, did I do you? better than that. <laughs> yeah. Was then that I'm Breath good. of the Wild? <laughs> Lost Kingdom is already just an insanely fast kingdom. And then you remove all the cutscenes. It's, it's very overwhelming sometimes. And it's so easy to die, obviously. Got these camera angles. I know. All right. Oh, I thought you missed it. No! Oh, oh, you going, Mario? Oh. Whatever, man. It loses like one second to die, but it loses a lot of my ego, <laughs> and that's the real problem. <laughs> Aren't you a moon short? No. No. Um, so usually oh. during the moon get cutscene. You know, it ticks into your inventory, and then you get in control. Oh, it goes. But it can oh, get really okay. confusing because you start moving before it ticks into your inventory. I've had that in sand when I warp, and I go, oh, no. And then by the time the warp is done, it's in my inventory, and I'm fine. Yeah, I had to manually fix that, by the way. 
Really? Like, if you entirely skip that cutscene, it won't tick up. So I had oh. to re-add in the ability but to But would it, would it, it let you leave? Or was it just a visual thing? Or was it actually going to stop you from leaving? I want to... Oh, you didn't check. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Night Metro is really short, and the boss sucks ass. But I think the movement in this kingdom is some of the best. It's very satisfying when you get it right. But the boss does suck. It's like the <laughs> only bit of RNG in the entire game. Wait, is that true? What the hell just happened? I'm pretty sure my input just dropped. Oh, thank you. Yeah, this, uh, this boss is very interesting in terms of its code because there's a bunch of different like patterns it chooses from uh, uh -huh. when the stage first gets like created, and as a result, uh, sorry, I shouldn't be talking while you're no. focusing. Hey, crappy, I've <laughs> not your fault. No, um, no, but it people, isn't. people have been. Oh, yeah, sorry. it's always my fault. I made the mod, so it's. <laughs> but yeah, uh, people have been figuring out ways to task this game for a while now, and this boss is like one of the biggest problems because right. people can't figure out a way to like force it to stay in a specific pattern. Oh, because, so it's not like frame-based like yeah, most it's, games. So for some reason, the way the randomness works in this game is actually kind of random. Um, you, can't, you, can't really see, you can't really set the seed of the randomness. You can, but what ends up happening is the way that the randomness gets changed over time is different depending on like how the stage loads or when the stage loads. Um, it's always based off of the stage name. Um, so whenever you start a stage, it'll pull the stage name and it'll use that for the seed of the oh. of the randomness. But like, wow. I'm following, I'm following. It, it, so it should be the same every single time technically. But the way that things call the randomness and get randomness um, is different every time you load. And people haven't figured out a way to get that's that crazy. Yet. Actually. Yeah, it's, I didn't know that. It's kind of it's kind of interesting. Just a little bit of information you might not know about the game. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna try to save the bit rate of the stream here. Yeah, like, I mean, it, you know, go, for non-speedrunner talk, you know, like, all randomness isn't really random in video games, generally. Like, if you go in a door on a certain frame and a certain pixel, whatever, you're able to manipulate it, quote unquote. But everything's kind of random by how you play, because in theory, we can't play the same way every time, right? Yeah. We're not, we're not computers, you know what I mean? So for a game to kind of like simulate a true randomness like that is really. Kind of yeah. crazy. That is really like the best. The best theory that people or people have come up with is that um, depending on what gets called uh, when something gets like randomized, basically, it might change the way the next random call happens. So, say uh, there's an enemy that calls. Uh, that's awesome. Awesome. Uh, don't cheers your water. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there you go. That's the right one. Nice. <laughs> yeah. So, calls an enemy. Yeah. Oh, right. Sorry. Yeah, no, no I'm into uh, this. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so into the run. let's say that an enemy needs to wait a certain amount of time, but it's random. So, like, if it's, like, 15 frames or 30 frames or something like that, then while that enemy is waiting 15 frames, maybe another enemy is waiting only eight. And so... As a result, it needs to wait 15 frames, what? then do another 15 frames, but another enemy is doing like eight frames, and then maybe like 13 frames or something like that. It's basically dependent on when an enemy calls another like randomness. Or oh my there's a bunch God, of things in the game that it. causes that Get calls the pole. randomness, but that's the best that's that I understand. I'm gonna be honest, I'm not the person that has been like researching the randomness in this game, so <laughs> I, I I could be that's entirely so wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's how it works, just from what I've seen. Guy in the bench, oh, ladies and gentlemen. Beautiful. Beautiful. He Absolutely just needed beautiful. a friend. Best I love this guy. The game. He just wants a friend. Is this the inspiration behind bench picks and uh, online? No. Or, no? But yes, I'll say yes. Okay. <laughs> just to be nice. I love it. You can technically get on that bench, but just be like a pixel too far away, mm -hmm. and he doesn't accept it because he doesn't just want a friend on the bench. He wants one close. Yeah, yeah no, he no, wants a no. close, wants a close friend. friend. He, he knows what he wants, and it's not a friend. <laughs> a little unnecessary there to me. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm sorry. I just I just got really mad for a second. Sometimes I let my temper get the best of me. Oh, shit. Sorry. Forgot. <laughs> <laughs> forgot about the mod. So 
sometimes I like take a second to relax, you know, stretch out my arms, whatever. What the hell? I hit another woman. Oh, here it comes. Here it comes, ladies and gentlemen. It's, it's very what? soon here. What are you talking are about? You? Otep? 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 <laughs> Can't really hear it. Yay! Oh, again, I forgot. <laughs> I'm so comfy in my cutscenes. <laughs> Next, we plug a SSD into this thing and get some lightning fast load times. Cut out those. We're that is really something I'm excited about it. for the Switch too, because it's basically rumored slash confirmed it's going to be backwards compatible. Every speedrun community just being like shambles because the, everyone is just going to buy that and get new free world records. Oh god, that's going to be the horrible. Faster loads. It's going to be horrible. I We're going to have to that. split all the leaderboards. No, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> just okay. get the faster thing. What? There you go, dude. <laughs> That's just messed up. Crafty, fix your goddamn mod. <laughs> Sorry. I like how everybody in the room just gave him shit on yeah. that. <laughs> I'm not taking the risk this time. Uh, where are you going, dude? Right. Uh, I don't think you're making it. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's nice. Oh, nice and slow. Are you going to snipe it? Uh, oh. No. Barely off. All right, get me in here. God, I'm tired of this. <laughs> Embarrassing myself. I'm shaking, I'm shaking, I'm shaking. When I first started playing this game, I would le get legitimately sore from it. It was kind of embarrassing. I had gamer arms. When we played horse the other day, like our, all of our jumps eventually just were like, jump off this person, off that person. <laughs> you know, like that was every yeah. jump after that, yeah. Is, was right. there a winner in that? Uh, I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> I came out strong and then... <laughs> All right, Once I realized I could jump off people, I was like, jump off this toad, that toad, that toad, and then you just <laughs> captured. <It was> just <laughs> we're done with Metro. This is typically about the halfway point of the run, so we're tracking about 54, I guess. Uh, I don't know if that's true, because I don't know where all the time saves are. If I mess up a little more, we might not get the record here, which would be really embarrassing because I'm cheating <laughs> like crazy. Again, he's going for the fastest time anyone's ever done Mario Odyssey. Exactly. Asterix. <laughs> no, asterix, no asterix version. No, there, no, there doesn't need to be an asterisk. <laughs> There's nothing different about this. Exactly. It's just the same, but you're blinking. This is Odyssey 1.4, actually. It's the new oh. version. Just came out. I'm a fan of this. Nintendo should do this more often. Oh, this is one of those weird parts where you don't get the moon. But um, Toad, Toad will just make you stand here anyways. <laughs> so I can't move. Uh-oh. He just wants a friend. And now I can move. <laughs> he, he makes you stand for what would be the moon cutscene anyways. Oh. Captain Toad just wants a friend. Yeah, he does. He does Captain Toad just wants a friend. I'll add to the notes to remove Captain Toad's friend. Just wants a friend. <laughs> All right. Oh, what's that? Oh, he's in like two animations at the same time. Are we doing out of bounds clips? We are not doing out of bounds clips. No, but we will be doing Snow Dream at the end of the kingdom. You know, I'll try it. No, I didn't get oh. it. That's okay. I wouldn't have known what to do anyways. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's so cool that you guys call everything a dram. Yeah. Because, like, us 2D nerds, dram's a god to us, you know? And so it makes me happy that he's also a god to y'all. <laughs> well, do you know why it started? Because dram figured him out. No, dram figured, yeah, he figured out one dram. And he said, all right, this is my trick... But uh, I don't care what you guys name it, just don't name it after me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so they called it Dram, and then they started naming everything Dram. Oh, even nice. if it wasn't a Dram. Like, Snow Dram is just a trick jump. But a Dram, like, what a Dram is, is when you throw Cappy next to something, go do something else, then when you're done, shake Cappy so he captures and you, like, warp to it. Like the one I did in Sand Kingdom with the Bullet Bill. Okay. Um, but this is just a trick jump. Can I tell you guys a, a very a very emotional secret, okay. actually? Yeah. So Dram Dram was at I've I've ran Super Dram World one and two at GDQ. Mm. 
Dram was at both of those. It didn't watch either run or come in, and he's never watched my Dram runs ever. Oh, and he's like my god, and he's never watched that's my runs. That's really sad. I know. That's I have. I each signed so both my copies of my <laughs> runs. Signed them. I got a Panga Dram signature on my thing. He's never watched my runs of his game. So I know. And I want him to watch it so bad. I just want Dram to watch. And once that happens, I can retire. Okay. Yeah. Dram, if you're listening, which you're probably not because he's on Pooh's channel. He's probably modeling. <laughs> what? <laughs> is he actually a model? Have you ever seen Dram in real life? No, no. He is the best looking man in the world. <laughs> he is incredibly good looking. But you're sitting right here. Dreamy Dram. No, he's Dreamy Dram. But I'm sitting right for here. For a reason. He's Dreamy Dram for a reason. All right. Snow Dram time. This one's for Dram. Shout out to Dram. And his 15 wives, probably. <laughs> oh, I fucked up already. Oh, you already messed up. I can't believe this. Oh. oh! That's just sad. That's just sad. We just failed Dram. Can we all pretend like I didn't do it? <laughs> <laughs> all right, first all right, attempt. All right, here we go. Let's this get is it up. Let's, let's, yeah! let's hope we get a first try. That would be really hype, actually. CJ, 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 CJ. No. Wait, wait, Reset. can we do that again? No? Yeah, one more time. Keep it going. Keep it going. CJ, CJ. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> All right, this is going to be our first attempt at the Dram uh, jump. This is a lot of pressure. <laughs> thank you, guys. I, I feel really good. I think I'm. Oh, I fucked up already. <laughs> Oh, that looks good. Oh, that, looks good. that was the worst one yet. CJ, oh, please no. don't take six hours. I'm not going to take six hours. Watch, okay. I'll do it with my eyes closed this time. Hey, you know what? Don't worry. Don't worry. Sometimes you just fail things you've done a million times right here at Speedrun Sessions, and it's totally okay, and the crowd yes. understands. The crowd understands. Shut your... <laughs> CJ, CJ, Guys, I'm sorry. That CJ. Yeah. There we go. That's what we like to see. That one... That one felt like the worst one, but goes to show what I know. <laughs> first, first try. try. That was first first try. try. That's crazy Woo! first try. Weird, it was a first try, but I lost like a minute. I don't know where that <laughs> time loss came from. Weird. It's all those moon cutscenes. Oh, right. Add up. All right, well, oh. that, that's as hype as you can get. No, it's not. Um, I don't know. This Seaside's, is the worst kingdom. Seaside sucks. I was it's about the to worst say that. kingdom. Seaside really does suck. I don't um, like this kingdom. No, it's the worst. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> it, it's the worst casually for <laughs> sure because you're just swimming around looking for shit. I did a run uh, recently of a mod that Crafty made where you have to kill every enemy in the kingdom before leaving, like a genocide run in Undertale. And it was awful in this kingdom because it eventually I was just swimming... Oops, and looking around for any like little fish or kelp or whatever. It was <laughs> miserable. This yeah. Is the only I king. Mean, Sorry. What? No, you go. Yeah, uh, <laughs> earlier in the run before uh, this kingdom, he actually did Sand Kingdom, and he did World Peace in that uh, kingdom for some reason, even though I said he don't ha have to technically. Uh, <laughs> And in the uh, um, what's the what's the ice boss in Sand Kingdom? What's it in? Attack. Whatever whatever it's called. Yeah. Um, what? It has after you beat it in that same uh, arena it has like I think over a hundred mummies that spawn periodically. Yeah. And CJ had to kill every single one of those in order to be able to continue on. And if with you the die, run. it just reset and, them. Yeah. <laughs> if you, you die, they would just reset. But like the way to kill them is by jumping on them. But you don't like bounce off them like a normal enemy. You jump through them. So then the mob of 40 of them are just going to get you. <laughs> and I had to do all of it without dying. It took me like a half hour. It was awful. <laughs> that was like half the runtime, honestly. It was. <laughs> all right. We're just cruising. Without the moon cutscenes, this is another one of those just really quick I was kingdom. Say, it's very so fast. fast. <laughs> Even nor normally they think this kingdom is only like three and a half minutes. So without the moon cutscenes it's probably getting cut down to like 240 or something like that. It's really fast. 
Clipping out of bounds. This clip is uh, really hard. It, you only get it one in every hundred thousand attempts. Oh my <laughs> god! Whoa! What? That's crazy. This was not the oh. first trick that I ever learned in the game, totally. No? No, I definitely didn't. Not this like wasn't Mooncake Skip. The funny thing, too, is when you're just watching that like, casually, it doesn't even somewhat look out of bounds at <laughs> no. first because no. it's an invisible wall in just the middle of the sand. Yeah, yeah it's just <laughs> all water, so none of it looks out of bounds. This was the first kingdom I ever saw out of bounds that period. Really? When you use the little blooper things mm -hmm. yeah, to, like, yeah. clip under. Yeah, those, that was the first one I ever saw going out of bounds. Fun fact about those things. Um... Every single capture in the game usually uses the same sort of system for respawning, except for those. For some reason, they rewrote the entire thing from the ground up to nice. respawn. And that was part of the problems that I was having with uh, the mod that CJ did. It was I found out about that, and I was like, why do they just not use the same existing like respawn system? <laughs> and I bet that's part of the reason why they are broken and that you could warp out of bounds with them. Yeah. <laughs> oh. L Rock, how you feeling over there, my dude? Doing good. Getting ready to play some, uh, tell you what. Let's play some Ninja Baseball Batman, shall we? Did you say Ninja Baseball Batman? I totally so, said Ninja so Baseball so. Batman. <laughs> okay, that's a different type of Batman than I was thinking originally. <laughs> oh, not Batman? This game is about as Japanese as it gets. So we play as four different superheroes, part of a squad of baseball players, varying size. All wielding bats of varying size. Different huh? special moves, whole kit and caboodle. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to be playing as twin bats. Called so because he literally wields two small bats. Oh, this is not a baseball game at all. Dude's really, really good. And the reason he's so good is because he has this move. It's to literally strike lightning with his feet. <laughs> This is probably the best move in a beat em up ever. And if not, it's really close. Yo, uh. Because not only does it do a ton of damage, it also locks enemies in place once the lightning tracks. The guy from Final Fight just took offense and to And it's completely that. safe. Because as soon as you. Well, give an input. As soon as you land, you can mash buttons to get out this tornado that has a hitbox. And then no one can do anything about it. Really good. How did you learn this one, Elrock? <laughs> what what arcade do you go to that has Japanese ninja baseball? <laughs> I don't know how they're ninjas, but it was the 90s, so I guess I'm here for it. That's fair. Game came out in 93, and it's actually an excellent game. Premise Ooh. as ridiculous as it is, this game is very good. That's fair. Well, it's not that ridiculous. <laughs> All right, CJ is cruising through luncheon right now. Oh, yeah, we are. Absolutely making moves. Yeah, once the screen wasn't on me anymore, I just started playing really well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> kind of it's sucked. amazing how much easier it is when you don't have to provide any commentary. Exactly. Yeah. Purple's full bonk there. Haters will say it was an accident. But I don't listen to the haters, honestly. <laughs> nice little vector for Ooh, Pooh, just like nice, nice, flying nice. over Alaska nice, yeah. or whatever the hell he's talking about. Oop. You oh. don't get it like the curvature of the earth? You use the curvature of the earth? Like a slingshot. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. I actually heard the best argument for a flat earth ever the other day. Okay. It's like a dime, right? It's a flat, but then it's spinning so fast that it appears like it's a circle. Oh. It picks, right? Like that one, I was like, I was like, okay, okay. 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 That was the best one, okay. I can see that. I can argue that, you know what? Fair, you know what? Uh-oh. Uh -oh. And maybe what we see at night is like right the sun yeah. in different spots. Yeah. Well, because <laughs> we're spinning so fast, it's like a rim, like on a, you know, like yeah. on a tire yeah. where it stops. It looks like it stops spinning. You know uh -huh. what right, I mean? Like right. it's spinning so yeah. fast, it looks like it stops. Okay. That's what the Earth's doing all the time. So right, we take right. a picture of it. And it looks. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it makes sense. I was. I'm not saying it was a good argument. I'm saying it was the best argument I've ever heard. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. That's fair. That's a low qualifier for sure. It was a very low qualifier, <laughs> but when he said it, I was like, okay, okay, that one's decent. That one's decent. Love the cheese RNG, dude. It's so fun. <laughs> Love that. All right, we are just schmoving right now. 
It, it's crazy how quick it goes by when you don't have any cutscenes. Yeah. Well, Not some cutscenes, I guess. <laughs> that was a bad time for me to say that. We're just anti cutscenes tonight. Honestly, we are. we're just yeah. like not showing any cutscenes. You didn't come to speedrun sessions for lore. You came for hot gameplay, <laughs> oh, right? Absolutely not. Yeah! yeah. It's, it's always about midway through the second run, the crowd will clap at anything I say. Yeah. It's like that's like the perfect amount of alcohol we got right there, you know? Like that's when I can really get them. Grab the meat and the meat. Yep. Grab him. Big meat. meat. Gotta remember not to skip cutscenes. So often when I do this, I just end up pausing the game over and over. Cause it's such most of my room. Then there, I do need to skip it. I guess. My bad. My bad. <laughs> I should just turn off. Uh, well, oh wow, that's pretty cool. I never, I never saw it just like immediately skip to the next. Like, anyway, yeah. we should just turn off pausing. That'll fix it. <laughs> exactly. True. All right, we got what? Three kingdoms left. Yeah. Three. Ruined, two and a half, really. Bowser. Ruin. And Bowser's. It's like and forty Lou. minutes or forty-eight minutes. Forty. Forty. That okay. really does look like an eight, though. Actually. <laughs> I was like, if you have 48 minutes, I, I'd be I, really I embarrassed. Bad, That's I not got that bad good. News for you. <laughs> That's not very good at all. No, I'm really bad. I don't take speedrunning serious enough. I don't know, like, paces. CJ, we're at speedrun sessions. You take it so seriously. <laughs> no, I take it seriously, grind in my soul and shit. I don't pay attention to the time <laughs> until the end. That's why I'm with Yeah, I'm with that. People are always like, oh, what? Like, what's your pace normally out of wooded? I'm like, I don't know. I know my wooded gold. Well, I used to. But that's about as, as good as I'm going to get. I'm 100,000% convinced this was a tech demo to show off the Switch. And they were like, Let's, we got to put this in a game. We got to put this in a game, right? Oh, what, the dragon? <laughs> yeah, the dragon. Yeah. Oh, I believe that. So that's that's a good theory. Yeah. Okay, it is gonna... very out of place, but that's what makes it so cool. Because otherwise, you realize it's a really not that great of a boss fight. I had a lot of trouble with it when I first played, to be fair. Really? It's a very weird... Yeah, I was a bad gamer. ...mechanic. <laughs> I, like, I was really bad at dodging those lightnings. I was just not good at this game the first time I played it, which goes to show, anyone... People always tell me they're like, oh, I can never speedrun this game, I'm so bad at it, and I'm like... <laughs> Bro, you should have seen me in 2018. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. I was ass at this game. Do you know me and Small Ant had a tournament race against each other in 2018? I did know that. Did yeah. Really? Okay. He beat me, and that was the last time I ever speedrun. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess that's a good person to lose to. <laughs> Whoever won got to um, do Odyssey content creation full time. Forever, full time, yeah. You had to stick with your retro shit. <laughs> That's what it was. Also, as a Zelda runner, it feels wrong that the hearts doesn't despawn right there. Like, huh. the fact that you open them up and you came back like two minutes later and it's still yeah. there, I'm like, bro, I that doesn't that. make sense. <laughs> All right. We nice. killed the dragon. I do have a theory that I think this dragon might be a baby. A baby dragon? Yeah, because it does have a soft spot on its head. Oh. And you're just pounding that shit. Like, that's it's actually kind of sad when you think about it that way. Yeah, I see what you're saying. I mean, it's definitely oh. concussed at this point. Oh, yeah. I mean, it doesn't move forever no. after this. And it just is so tired. That's what I would say. Yeah, it's signs of concussion. Yeah. yeah. It's, uh, it's a little sad. I suddenly feel a lot different about that whole sequence now that I think he's a baby. Yeah. Yeah. It is, like, almost definitely... It, almost definitely a baby. I just saw that dude's butt crack. Did y'all see that? Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> oh, love Boston. <laughs> yeah, shout out to Boston right here, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> see, I did that during my first run. Got nothing. Second run, that's where it's at. Yeah. People will clap at anything if they're drunk. You either say the name of the city or just pronounce USA and you get the yeah. crowd going. <laughs> Except for this time. You, no, you could get a USA. I could, we, easy. If you just, if you just said USA, USA, 
USA. <laughs> See? <laughs> it's the easiest. <laughs> it's so funny. I'm completely sober and I still joined. I know. <laughs> you don't have to be drunk. You have to be American. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> hey, you're American now. You live in Texas. I don't know what to tell you. Uh, do y'all have one of the, do y'all have like a Sweden chant? <laughs> we don't have patriotism, we only have IKEA. <laughs> <laughs> do you have an IKEA chant that is like <laughs> IKEA? Yeah. Yeah. IKEA. <laughs> exactly, yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm starting to like this Sweden player. <laughs> Bowser's Kingdom. It's very different from the other kingdoms. It's so linear. Yeah. Yeah. Which is interesting. Like, oops. And it's big, but like also not really that big. Yeah, it's massive, but most of it is air. Yeah. Yeah. It's also the only kingdom that doesn't show you how many moons you need before oops. getting to the end. Yeah. Which is kind of like a surprise if you kind of just focus on getting to Bowser. It's like, oh, surprise! You got to go back. But but the thing is, like, you only need three. Like, other than the story mood, you only need yeah. three, so it's really not even that crazy. But it is a cool idea. Because they want you to think it's the last kingdom, right? Like, the whole idea is, yeah. like, oh, this is it. You're going to fight Bowser, and then you fight the mech, and then they're like, just kidding, he's on the moon, idiot. <laughs> My nephew, went the first time I played this game, spoiled it for me. Because oh. he was watching me, and he had just played it. He's like, it's so cool at the end when you capture Bowser. I was like, you asshole. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I was so mad. How old's your nephew? At the time, seven. Oh, uh, my God. He gets a slight of pass, though, though. No. No? No. No. Spoiler, not. spoiler rules still apply to seven-year-olds. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> Actually, I think he was six. Ooh. Still no, no excuse, honestly. Nice. It's okay, it really I, I yeah, the only thing that uh, I got spoiled about this game was the fact that you go to Mushroom Kingdom. Uh, Sorry, spoilers. I did not get that spoiled. <laughs> yeah, I, I tuned into really a. I was really hyped uh, about that. I tuned into a Twitch live stream uh, of the game like a couple days before it came out. What? Because people were just doing that, and I was like, "What's going on?" And yeah. they were just in Mushroom Kingdom, and I was like, <laughs> "That's cool." That was a really cool surprise. I got spoiled in Mushroom Kingdom too, but not even by like I had everything locked, and then I opened up like my following, and on recommended it recommended someone that had streamed the game earlier than they should, oh. and the thumbnail was literally just the castle right there, and I'm like, well, I guess we're going there. <laughs> <laughs> it is in the opening cutscene. Hate thumbnail spoilers. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Especially Twitch ones because they're random. Yeah. yeah, it's not even their fault really. Yeah, it's if they're playing the game, I mean, yeah. I, I'm not blaming them, but like, come on, what's the chance? If you spoil something in your YouTube thumbnail, you're going to hell. <laughs> That's just a fact. I like to spoil y'all's videos in my YouTube thumbnails. That's how, what I do. how? What does that even mean? <laughs> yeah, no, I just, I, I completely take everything your video is going to be, like when we do hide uh, and seek, and I put it in my thumbnail. God, yeah. The bench pick and everything? Yep. <laughs> oh, come on. You're supposed to do this jump like blind, but I never figured out how to do it. <laughs> I'm kind of just too scared, so I just wait a sec, just let the camera. Oh, set that it. one? Yeah. You're supposed to do it blind, but I'm a little bitch, so <laughs> I don't want to do it. The self-awareness is the first step. Yeah. If I say I'm a bitch, no one else can call me a bitch. <laughs> it's absolutely how it works. Oh, I guess they could, but it would remove all the power they have. Alright, this is my favorite boss. I say as I'm about to fuck it up. This so boss bad. is so hard. It's like, so hard. Still to this day is yeah. still stupid hard. Oh. Like when people do this boss well, it's so cool. Beautiful. Yeah, because you can see it knocks him off, and then it often oh, to nice. knock him off a second time. So it is like a backup mechanism to not let the Oh skip my goodness! Nice. Okay, good start. Nice. That's a good start. So it's gonna follow you wherever you go. So we make sure to stay on the front, so that it just keeps running into this wall. It I have no idea. Not it know has that. to run into I the wall I twice. I just always had him run around. Me too. Yeah, no, it has to run into the wall twice. So if you just stay in the front, that's the fastest way. Oh. 
All right, now this is the hard part. So satisfying. This boss did take me like an hour though when I did it. <laughs> 28, dude. Oh, maybe, it's a really hard fight. Maybe the, first the dark time. side. Yeah, no, it's not easy. I'm just that good, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> world is... Yeah, we're on world record oh, pace yeah. here. This is pretty oh, yeah. good so far. Oh, wow. 50 oh, wow. minutes. Oh, wow. We're 50 minutes eight, in right what now. What do you got? Six minutes? Eight minutes? I got six minutes. From now, got this. this is actually way closer than it should be, you know. But it doesn't matter. I mean, this is a totally normal version of the game. I'm just totally trying to get normal. world record totally naturally. Yeah. Honestly, this is what everyone should attempt to get world record. <laughs> hey, it's not my fault for using the tools at my disposal. Yeah. <laughs> Tyrone, what the hell are you doing, bro? Yeah. I thought I had two extra moons for a sec. Yeah, you know... <laughs> The Mario community would never bend the rules a little bit in order to achieve anything cool. No, never. never. We never. would never. Not no one ever, would ever do not that. Not today, for example. No one would ever hold a whole community hostage for a week with a level that was uploaded. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, but it sounds fake and like something that didn't happen. I feel like my whole... I feel like my whole last 10 days have been a lie, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> hey, think about the people who played yeah, the I'm level just for I like dozens I'm just of hours. I it. <laughs> Could be worse. Oh my god. You're just sad. They're sad and wasted for 10 days. Oh. In this hypothetical scenario we're talking about. Yeah, a hypothetical about. scenario. Hot vector. Hot vector. It's because, again, the moon's round. Oh, right, yeah. right. Just like the Earth. Probably. <laughs> or it's spinning really fast. <laughs> yeah, like a dime. Like Inception. All right, Moon Cave Skip, also known as um, the easiest skip that saves the most amount of time. Anyone can do this. Your grandma could do this if you give her like an hour. Um, and it saves like two and a half minutes. Just an insane skip. It took me an hour to I figure out. I was about how to, to say, this. the fact that you say it saves two and a half minutes is almost insulting. It's Beautiful. Like, it is way more than two and a half minutes. I was going to say, it's yeah. a lot of time. <laughs> yeah. There's a boss fight. Well, maybe yeah. If yeah. you can skip the boss fight, though. You know? Or you oh, can't well, skip well, the boss well, fight. Well. If, you're, if you're bad at the moon. <laughs> Pretty game, sure if I yeah. can do that, I can't skip. Yeah. You know what I mean? If, I, if exactly. I'm not doing that, I'm not skipping the yeah. boss fight either. Okay, it saves a lot more than two and a half minutes if you're dog shit, I guess. Slow fade out. Yeah, the slow fade. Really dramatic. And intentional. But we're almost done here. Not a lot of cutscenes left to skip, so not a lot of time left to save. No. Just gonna have to play like a god, I guess. 2D skip? 2D skip, yeah. Yeah, 2D yeah. skip 100%. Last three times I've done 2D skip, I think I died like every time, so I really hope I don't do that. That one loses a lot. I like how small that fireball hitbox is. Yeah. Oh, it's really bad. I'll show it off after this. Yeah. It's super tiny. All right. If you've ever felt like, oh my god, I dodged that fire. I'm such a gamer. Think again. You're not that impressive. Because, um, I mean, you can just watch. You just go right through it. Like... Like, that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> what the hell is that? Oh, wow. That wow. one was, yeah. I think you jumped Yeah, no, through I'm literally time. going through. Oh, yeah, right. that, that one was crazy. Was late. That, that one's one crazy. <laughs> I thought I messed that one up. Yeah, that one was super late. Yeah, it's stupid. It's really dumb. I actually feel worse right now, like, legitimately. <laughs> <laughs> so don't ever feel nervous. You, you might as well just stand there. It won't hit you, I promise. Go do it. Try it at home. If I'm not mistaken, um... I don't actually think there are like actual hit boxes in the game's code. So those are most likely a bunch of spheres that are just placed periodically where the effect is playing. Oh, that's so like in theory you could be in between of these. Yeah. 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 Whoa. That's pretty crazy. I could be wrong about that, but I'm pretty sure it's called. You know what? It I, if you say something, I'm just gonna trust it. So I, just I say have it a good, I, none I have of a good us, feeling. None about of us it. have looked into the code. Yeah, I could just I could just say whatever and yep. yeah. people would believe me. Yep. You've like got a, that streak right now. You're actually like scaled up a hundred times in this uh, fight. <laughs> that's, that's, 
they actual, just, if you, they just zoom it out like crazy. If you're just regular Mario, you're really tiny. No, you actually are. Yeah. <laughs> that one's actually true. And in superstar oh, mode, you look way smaller than you should. I, I can't Maybe even it's like that. Not correctly. actually scaled up, but it just feels weird, I guess. All right, here's 2D skip. It's um, pixel perfect, frame perfect. Oh my god! Oh, wow. Wow. I got it. That was nice. That was nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just clean like that, I guess. Gaming. Well, we are coming up on the end here. Are we on world wow, record this pace? Is like, what is it? Wait, what the left? hell? I'm like not. Even, I'm barely on pace. I actually have to play really well here. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. CJ, 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 CJ. I shouldn't have missed all those snow drams. Those snow drams coming back to bite you right now. <laughs> Is it 56 and change? 56.11. Oh, uh, yeah, I don't know, bro. I don't know, bro. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I already messed up, too. I missed the first pillar. Scared for you. Okay, come on, come on. I, I don't oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Come on. Oh my god. Oh, come on. Come oh! on. Come on. Come on. Come on. No, not the damage. Come on. Oh, come on. Come on. Three, two, one! Oh my god! You tied it! You tied the world record! You tied it, literally! That counts, that counts! 56-11 on the dot! The tie is still first, baby! Let's fucking go! It was all according to plan! Wow, I can't believe it! I got more record! This is awesome! <laughs> uh. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for CJ Yaw one more time right there! <laughs> that, was, that was so dumb! Tying the world record yeah. right there! CJ! 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 Let's go! Woo! That's what we're talking about! Woo! Ladies and gentlemen, we got Linkus coming up next. Yeah! In the meantime, let's check in with L Rock and see what our man is doing over on the arcade. How's it going, everybody? Still playing some Ninja Baseball Batman because this game's amazing. We're still on one quarter, though. Fighting this uh, Mega Man X boss here. Hit this dude. Hit him while he's down. Get some safety. A little scared here, he's a little low on health, but we're gonna keep hitting him. Tail's loose. Tail can hit us, we don't want that. Keep doing this so we can't do it anymore. Keeps trying to hit us, he's not going to though. Let's see what he's got going. Oh, trying to get away and he couldn't, let's go! And we got a purse. GG, CJ. <coughs> All right, so I got a quick time for a quick bonus stage here. I should do this just uh, two fingers to one button, see if we can get it here. Just gotta punch the ball a bunch of times. Good beats. Bonus level's important, you get extra lives that way. Of course it's rigged, it's a great machine. I'm kidding. <laughs> so stage six, every stage is based on an actual location. This is Chicago, which we know because there's a bunch of gangsters here. First time we've seen these enemies, the only time we've seen these enemies. I gotta readjust the headset, sorry about that. A little bit of a folly there. Hit him on his wake up, He'll be dashing out. Run over everything in a car. This game loves to do that, and it's fun. So screw it. Thunder kicks are still really good, as I talked about earlier. Hit those guys. Look 
gonna be doing a bunch of thunder and a bunch of kicking. And we get some milk for our troubles. Get on this chair. This way. I, I don't know what hit me, but that was weird. I did not see anything on fire. So we're gonna be locking enemies in place. Do, that was unfortunate. He played correctly, I did not. Do this here. Really hoping to get that guy before he got airborne, but that's okay, I think. Yeah, we're good. Ooh, should have iframes there, I guess. Uh, hit him. One more wave of enemies for get some health into the boss. Hope you all enjoyed speedrun sessions packs 2024. I know I sure am. Pick up some of this milk. Uh, don't love not having full health, but some mistakes were made. And then we have whatever this thing is for our boss. Did not want to miss that. But that's okay. Hit it while it's down. Keep doing this a bunch. Gonna summon some cronies, but they don't make a huge difference. That shotgun blast would have made a big difference if it connected. Thankfully I was airborne. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll drop an input there. Get up and take your medicine. Hit it while it's down. I love the design of this character, by the way. Like, look at the look at the hair bows. Isn't it just adorable? Like the ultimate dog gangster. Did not want to get hit by that. Yeah, I should be playing safe. This is my mistake. Try to play grounded. There's no reason to do that. Take care of the boss. Still deathless in the last stage. Feels good. We got the babe. So the commissioner of baseball sent us to retrieve all these items. Now we got them all back. And in the ultimate enemy betrayal, he ends up being the lead villain, complete with red eyes and no more hair. So now we got to go to the Big Apple and take care of him. Must be 3 a.m., right? The only time it ever is in the Big Apple. This guy. Haven't been able to sh talk about it much throughout the game, but this last stage is a quintessential but last stage. It throws everything it has at us that we've seen up to this point. Just wants us to let us know we're in for it, including a couple of refights. Uh, not what I want. All right, I got a whip punish on that. Good talk. Wasn't this game's soundtrack just the business? Uh, wait for some more enemies to appear. I did not want that yet. Yeah, that's a waste. That move is incredibly powerful. I did not want to use it on smaller enemies. These guys actually are pretty annoying, so I was glad to get a few of those out of the way, I suppose. Uh, okay, that was weird. Got anti air in a spot where I definitely did not anticipate that happening. We'll just clear this out. Drop that down. Get some life. Never hurts to have, never hurts to have health in a thing like this, right? Get some of that Red Bull. It gives you wings. Quinn Bats here knows all about that. He doesn't know how to not jump out of the sky. Climb over that way. I uh, did not want that. Dropped input there. That cost me health. Unfortunate. Hopefully, I think we should be okay. Historically, I've actually never finished this stage without taking a death, but we have four lives at this point, so we shouldn't have an issue being able to finish it. Didn't want to take that death, though, but mistakes got us there. Strike down some of these baseball mitts. You can tell everything, every enemy in this game is appropriately thematic. Except for the squids. I don't know what they were thinking with that. Hit him while he's down. Pretend like it's X-Men. These bozos. I should have saved that. Eh, well, I mean, 
health is health is good no matter what. Yo. Elevator it down because it's a beat em up. Can't have a beat em up without an elevator. Elrock, this game is wild, by the way. Mike. Right? This game is wild. Ladies and gentlemen, it's so good. Give it up for Elrock right over there. Go killing these arcade games right Thank now. Thank you so much. One quarter. I said give it up for Elrock, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Thank you, Pooh. Thank you, everyone. I got you. We're going to be checking in with him in just a few Let's minutes again. That down. But coming up right now, the man, the legend, <laughs> Linkus. Yeah. Thank you. Going to be blessing us with some tears of the king of the newest <laughs> Zelda game out there. It's going to be a fun run. Very hard, but yes. very fun. <laughs> yes. And you're going to get world record, right? World record. Yeah, I'll say about that. <laughs> hey, we're also skipping cutscenes here, though. Yeah, that's true. We have a cutscene right after the opening. Uh, you miss 30 seconds of running and six minutes of Ganon in the underground. That's my favorite so. part, though. Yes. <laughs> You'd be all Wait, good. Wait, you don't, don't want to watch Zelda calmly <laughs> walk down the stairs? Creepy crawling. Uh, okay. Oh, all right. Here in that arcade. Crowd, we need your help. I need you to count this down in five, four, three, two, one. Go! Ah, all right. <laughs> all right. All right, so you've ran. <laughs> Naya, Naya, Naya. You've ran Too early. the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom now. Yes. What's the major difference between the any percents? I mean, the same it's the idea is the same, right? Go to, go to, I already got one. <laughs> same idea is, that's yours, CJ. Well, I don't want it, bro. Yeah, you do. <laughs> Does Jean in it? No, it doesn't. What is uh, that? Baca. Oh, dope. Yeah. Um, plus, you need the proper amount of Killer Queen loop. By the way, ladies and gentlemen, all of us speedrunners, after this is over and after we take all the pictures, are going to be taking on all challengers at Killer Queen, and we're going to fuck you up. Just so you yeah, guys I'm know. really, I'm really good at it. We're going to fuck all of you up. I'm really, okay? really good at it. Um, yeah. So immediately when we start, we actually have one of the hardest skips. I'll quickly just show so you know what's going on. So here's an opening panel that activates a bunch of cutscenes and it forces you down. I want to get up to that ledge right there on that ledge. But as you can see, if I try and jump, I'm not even going to be close. So I can do it. you can take advantage of multiple mechanics in one. Okay. So I'm going to do a. I'm not going to get this first try, but I'm going to do a really precise setup. And then what I'm gonna try no. So what I'm gonna try and do is start sprinting and it gives you a boost. If you jump one frame later, you maintain that boost. Oh. Then I need to press R at a per, uh, at a specific frame to turn Link around, then cancel that and perform a jump slash. That will extend his jump almost. You can see I get way more. Well, distance. This is the first trick. And this is the first trick. So this is After why a seven minute cuts. Yeah, so this is why most <laughs> runs just die in the first seven minutes. This so is horrible. Almost. And the, thankfully, because it's a marathon run, I have a save right there. You can see energy still runs low. So you only have about four attempts, or you got to restart it as well, even if you want to be slow. Um, but yeah, thankfully, this is one of the hardest tricks of the run. So once hey. we're past this, it's a lot easier. I want to be really clear. Speedrun Sessions is not a marathon. Speedrun Sessions is a fucking party, OK? Yeah. <laughs> OK, I got to reload This is a that. sprint. It's a guy. It's a sprint. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh. Yeah, so unlike Wait. Mario, where it kind of starts calm and slow and gets harder and harder, Zelda, it's just like the first trick is just like intro skip. I've already decided <laughs> I'm never running this game. Yeah. <laughs> seven minutes of yeah, I think this, and then this shit. This trick took me about six or seven hours straight to get it once. Mm. Oh. Uh, it is. It might look Lovely. very easy, but it is so many components in one, and you don't really know what you did wrong when you start off. Oh, that's fun. So <laughs> it's really, really oh, cool. Hopefully we get it right now soon. And how much time does this skip save? Oh, oh got it. Oh, no, fuck. No. What? No. <laughs> um, so this skip technically only saves about like a minute or two, but it also <laughs> unlocks a brand new route oh. uh, because you can get wings early. So normally you cannot get wings until really late into the uh, great, great Sky Island. So by getting this early, it completely destroys the entirety of the route. Is it is it like Breath of the Wild as well, where it locks like the weather and everything? I think my angle is slightly wrong. I got it now twice there. Yeah, so that's the distance I need and the height. I'm oh, sorry. I <laughs> this is being really we got weird. all night. Oh, we can just start the timer over again. This no. is a GDQ. We can do that. No, we it's can totally fine. We do got that. this. No, just reset the run. Link is like, stalling okay. to make up for the time that would have been the opening cutscene. 
Oh. There we yeah. go. Yeah. Also, be careful to not fall back down here. Um, I'm actually going to climb it, so I just <laughs> don't want to. <laughs> Smart. <laughs> Normally, you just run, but I've lost runs just running down there because it kind of tries to push you back to where you're supposed to be. So, yeah, so this is the, sh the fourth shrine you're supposed to get after everything else is done in the Great Sky Island. I can't access it. But because I get access to the top, I now get access to Wings early, which if you ever played Tears of the Kingdom, you will know that Wings, that thing right there, basically is one of the most powerful kind of Zonai devices that you can get. Yeah. Nice movement. Uh, so we're going to run up here. Um, also, you're going to see a lot of glitches in this run because it's version 1.0 which is before they basically patched, well, anything. So. so you have, like, the item dupe glitch and everything Correct. going. Correct, yes. Yeah, nowadays there are some routes that actually make it somewhat competitive to run on the latest patch, but it's just more fun to run on the oldest patch, and it is still faster. Um, so some of the performance issues can be blamed on my version. Let's put it that way. <laughs> but that's the opening, thankfully. <laughs> <laughs> what an opening, though. Too. Yeah. Like, this game is fucking good. This game this is, is so a good, good. Game. It's such a good game. Also, Tech, can we raise my game auto by just like a few percent? Because, like, I, in this one, I can't hear anything. I could only hear your game. Yeah, I can't Thank hear it. Thank you. I can hear it. It's beautiful. Yeah, now I can hear it so much. Yeah, the hard thing about these speedruns right here in Zelda games, and I was talking to the CJ off stream, is that in a Mario game, if you mess up, I guess your ROM hack is a little bit different, but generally, mess up some movement, you just, you know, you bonk, you just try to jump again. Do it again, yeah. Yeah, on Zelda, if you mess up, I mean, best case in the Tears of the Kingdom Breath of the Wild, you reload your save, you lose still 30 seconds. In the other Zelda games, and some of the glitches are coming up on later, it's two, three, four, five yeah. minutes per attempt, so that's the hard thing. Uh, also, coming up here, one thing I think is a big misconception, because I was scared of even attempting this, you do not take fall damage if you land on those. It's true. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was one of the first things yeah. I tried, actually. I was like, yeah. I'm going to land on one of these lily pads. Like, yeah. Yeah. Because you land on anything else, you just instantly die. But yeah. that is one of the only exceptions. Um, I'll also pick up a little bit of food throughout this. Um, not a lot, but just some would be good, because um, if you don't have perfect movement, you freeze to death in a lot of sections. So... It'll be good. So why, why are you pulling out the sword? Oh, sorry. That's just the... Uh, I, uh, I just pressed the button when oh, I can't Oh, just swag? Run. Yeah, oh, well, because in, so in, so in Breath of the Wild, it's you know, known as whistle sprinting. So it lets you run yeah. infinitely. You can hold in the whistles button. But here you can't do it. So when you're waiting for the stamina to regain, there's just kind of nothing to do. So I just have the habit of just pressing the... Okay. <laughs> what do you do? What is your Mario Odyssey? I got nothing to do. With. Yeah. Like, crouch a bunch? Because, like, in Mario, in Mario World, I duck. I just duck, yeah. duck, 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 oh, duck, duck. Okay. Do you not have one of those? You don't? I Oh, I spam click the camera button. Okay. Uh, okay, yeah. I was trying to remember. But, yeah, I just click the camera yeah. button because it, it doesn't work while you're moving. Ah. So if I'm moving, I can just spam it. Okay. Now when we got the Pura Pad and we're supposed to follow the progression, this is when we start to break the route itself. Uh, and where the hard trick, well, more hard trick starts to come up. <laughs> so if you play this game, you will know that using a wing in the mi from midair is basically impossible. You kind of have to start You have to use an engine, etc., because they don't want you to use it from the ground. So this is the first one. So I'm going to make a safety saver just in case. So um, I'm going to try and line myself up here. And then I have to time this at a perfect time. Uh, slightly too early. Slightly too early. That should work, hopefully. So basically, as you can see, <laughs> Ooh, whoa, okay. Whoa. <laughs> Beautiful, okay. Uh, now we have to dupe. Okay, yeah, so if you do it too late, then it just says, oh, it's in midair already, it can't be placed. Wait, oh, you're duping. Yeah, so yeah, right now I'm duping. duping, yeah, I sorry. Forgot, yeah. yeah, I press sort and cancel at the same time, and it just doubles however much I held. Um, but yeah, if you do it too late, can't place it if it's already in midair. If it's on the ground, then, I mean, you don't actually get a fly. So you have to barely touch the edge and it kind of make it tip over. But you can see it's very close in between tipping over and falling and, you know, you're not getting it. Um, also here, I'm going to do something really interesting. So normally when you're down here, right, you're kind of stuck down here and you have to follow the intended path. So what we do to get around it is to basically play like the floor is lava. So I'm going to be in front of this. I'm going to drop another wing here and then start this cutscene. So when I end exit this cutscene, I'll still be on a wing, the second one I placed. And the game has a safety check in place where it can only respawn you where you're on the last standable ground. 
So if I do a run, jump, slash, and then dive now and void out, it's going to go away where was the last place it stood on. So it put me all the way back to the top. Oh, oh wow. So we'll see me respawn up here now. It's a long loading zone. Sorry. Wow. But yeah, there it goes. So I'm back here. That's cool. It's uh, one of those low-key genius things, you know what I mean? Like yeah. It's such a small... Oh, beautiful. You <laughs> beautiful. Go on purpose. Okay. Do you drop two because it's easier then? So that one I drop two on because the ledge just formed in such a way where if you don't drop two, it, you fall down. So use the second one. It's kind of dampening so you don't fall too much. Because this one I have no leeway because it's... I mean, that's about much my height I have to get up on this higher ledge. Um... <laughs> Ooh, okay. Oh, take that Jesus. damage. Good yeah, thing I got that, that little bit extra backup. Oh I'm actually going to run in, reset it, and run back out and get these peppers here. Um, yeah, normally in the optimal run, you make it to the shrine with about, I think, three seconds to spare before you like freeze to death. So let's not do that. Um, yeah, now we're up here. We're going to get bomb flowers. Uh, and this is the main reason for this route being this structure. It's just bomb flowers. In case you didn't use them in your cash playthrough other than like breaking rocks, trust me, they are the most broken item in this game. Sorry, sorry, CJ, sorry. I <laughs> what? <laughs> Can't stop myself from using the sword. Oh, it's okay. I was just wondering. No, we get it. Yeah. I wasn't sure because I know there's like throw sprints yeah. as well in Breath of the Wild. Yeah, so in Tears of the Kingdom, you can technically do a somewhat of a whistle sprint method where you kind of start a throw, cancel it. But it saves, I think, over the whole run, something like one or two seconds <laughs> over the whole run. And you have to crouch each time. And pressing that crouch button just hurts your fingers like crazy because it's literally, you know, over and over again. You're tapping it, right? So it's very not fun. Need some food here. Have to wait up. Yeah, normally you're not supposed to be able to go through it. Normally here, if you did this casually, you have to go through a bunch of caves to get up to this part. So going through these vines, through these caves, is completely out of order from how Nintendo intended. Um, but now we're at first shrine. There we go. And this is when the run starts to finally open up as well. <laughs> okay. So which ability are you getting first? Sorry? Which ability are you getting first? Uh, we get Ascend first, because this is just the highest point. Okay. But then we immediately want to go to Fuse, because being able to Fuse things is, uh, is basically is what breaks this entire run. Okay. Really? Fu like, not the build, but fusing to your weapons? Yeah, oh. like Ultra Hand, we don't use it once. Oh, really? Oh, wow. Yeah. Well, yeah, there's one optional strat you can do that saves two seconds, but that's it. Like, Ultra Hand, you never use it. I don't know why I'm so disappointed in that. I, I was hoping you guys were like building some little weird like machine yeah. that, you know? Yeah, no, it's just, it's just slow. I don't know what to tell you. It's just slow. You'll see what we do. We don't. We actually don't even use Ultra Hand in the Ultra Hand Shrine. <laughs> okay, let me ask you a question. This is minor spoilers because he he loses his arm at the end of the game. Like, if you had some weird dead guy's arm that had power, would you want to give it back and get your normal arm, or would you just... No, nah, I'd keep it, I, I think. Like like, yeah. keep it. The dude's dead. Yeah. yeah what does he, what need, does he arm, need the arm for? Right? Plus, it's kind of like he donated it, so it's almost like disrespectful to get rid of it. Yeah, Thank I know. That's, yeah. that's what I thought. Yeah. Kind of rude. It's like you get a gift, and then you, like, re-gift it to someone. It's <laughs> exactly. Yeah. But you're re-gifting it to yourself? You're like, no, you're actually, I like that. that. You're re-gifting it to yeah. my rule. Hopefully this guy doesn't have perfect aim. Sometimes in like one in a hundred, he will just hit you while you're cutting these ropes. That's awesome. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like that. Yeah, you want to try and jump every time after using your weapons because it cancels the animation faster. Oh. So when you did the, um, when you skipped the opening, like yeah. the intro, did that, like, in Breath of the Wild, did that, like, lock the weather and the time? Um, so, interestingly, so it doesn't lock anything. However, um, you can actually only do the intro skip for the any percent category because with how Nintendo programmed this game, despite this being in, like, kind of its own area and its own very special kind of, you know, world-ish, the internal timer for the dragon's move 
So what they figured out is that how fast or slow you are down there will change where the dragons will be. And they have like a three hour pattern flying around the map. So it could be used for cheating <laughs> if you stood around AFK for two hours, went past it, saved it for the intro skip to have it perfectly lined up to the dragons to be where you want them. Oh to. my oh. god! So that's oh. so any category that uses dragons, you cannot do intro skip. Um, I just recommend it. Just make like a limit. You can't be slower than eight minutes. But you know, it was <laughs> that's too much. I know. I feel like intro <laughs> skip eight minutes. Boom. Yeah. Like you know what I mean? Exactly. Just put it on there. You have a minute to spare of time loss at the bottom, and that's it. Um, I mean, it's just running. So yeah. Four keys with you know <laughs> infinite health. Dear speedrun communities, make your games more fun. Yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. speedrun yeah. communities. Yeah. Listen, rules rules are great, right? I understand. We yeah. need the rules, right? But it's okay to gear our rules towards yeah. fun. Speedrun communities, yeah. thank you. Uh. Unfortunately, the people that are always in charge of the Discord have so much time, <laughs> right? Way more than me. They always have so much time. Um, also, coming up now, we're coming up with everyone's favorite edition, Amiibos. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Woo! Yeah, I was considering not doing the Amiibo route just because it's a marathon run, but what you get uh -huh. from doing Amiibos... a marathon Amiibos, party. Exactly. What you get from Amiibos is you get speed food. So all you get is slower running. So I thought it would be more better this way. I'm also going to safety save here in case. Wait so here I'm coming up on like a different method. It might look really easy, but this is both timing focused and also camera focused. So... <gasps> There we go. Uh oh. So you're not supposed to be able to drop those like that in midair. Uh, so that kind of go past the safe, fail safe and also um, lets you kind of drop down. And here I'm coming up now on actually duplication. So I got to duplicate this Fleet Lotus to get my speed food. And it's a little bit scary while you're flying. Yeah, but what the hell? <laughs> Oh, uh, 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 um, didn't get all of them. That's fine. I'll finish them <laughs> on the ground. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, where they fly is a little bit RNG there. So that is not deep water. <laughs> yeah, sorry. I also have to be careful there. If you get perfect height, you can fly the wing and land in front of him. But if it accidentally, if the wing accidentally touches the logs, this guy soft locks and can't give you the energy cell here. Yeah, I lost many runs to that. So you want to be what? careful if the wing is at the wrong position. Like that there. log right there. Yep. Yeah, because he kind of re reacts to you react like in interacting with it. I yeah. feel like we give Nintendo too much credit sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now we're gonna come in here. Yeah. Yeah. This this is just so that I can get this ruby quickly. This ruby is the most broken item in the game, uh, in terms of uh, damage output. It's supposed to be a really a rare item, but. Can you kill the frog for us? Yeah! Oh. yeah. <laughs> Why? That was against my will. I need to clarify. Why did we do that? I mean, he's there, right? Like, it's a collectible. What, are you just going to let it go? <laughs> uh, but yeah, also, I should clarify, when I'm duping there, I basically have to do that frame perfectly pressing B and Y to sort. Right. And I have to do it while in midair, because um, otherwise he could technically like, hold the item. Uh, right here, I'm walking on purpose because I don't want to alert one of the guys over there that I'm here. So then I have to throw this. And then I also have to make sure that I walk off specifically that left stone. Otherwise, the sound of me falling will also alert him, and then the cooking here won't work. Pick up that shield before it burns. And now we're going to cook our speed food and also have to look up in the sky because this version is so laggy right here for some reason. <laughs> you lose seconds to just looking. <laughs> You'll see as I zoom down right here that the frame rate kind of <laughs> yeah. starts to drop. Is that all you're going to need? Yep, that's all the food I'm going to get. And now we can actually run fast. You can see wow. how much faster it is. I like that they assigned these elements to the ruby and sapphire and mm -hmm. topaz just because of the color. Yeah. Those like, yeah, rubies nice. are fire Yeah, because <laughs> they're red. Right, guys? Yeah. <laughs> It's like the Yoshis. Makes sense. It does. Yeah, it's like sense. the Yoshis. Yeah. It's very, it's very you visual. It, makes yeah. sense, right? You think they do that in real life? I, my, my kid would get it. He would understand. Yeah. Right, yeah. 
kid. By the way, I got like 40 videos of my kid chanting CJ, CJ, <laughs> my wife, you know? So nice. I'll have to show you those. Yeah. Why is he chanting my name? They're watching right now. They're watching. Oh. <laughs> He's probably going to join I'm doing it. a lot. I really deserve this. <laughs> Link is like, what the fuck, guys? <laughs> it's my Link it! Link it! <laughs> Link it! It just there doesn't go. sound as good. Yeah, it doesn't flow the same. It doesn't flow as well as two letters. Okay. Hopefully here I don't control, by the way. So here I do have to do the scary thing, which is duplicating my bombs. Mm. Even if I do it perfectly, um, there's a chance it would just blow up and kill me right here. It lose me like 30 seconds. Okay, cool. uh, <laughs> <That's> <laughs> because it depends on how they fall in midair as you're dropping them. So hopefully we don't get too screwed over by that. We'll see. Um, we have the bombs here now. We can finally fuse things. So now we can finally start to do some fun strats. Okay. So, uh, first, let's hope this doesn't blow up. Oh okay. My God. Now we have to do this two more times. So I'm only going to do four because if I do, if I do more, it's guaranteed. One more time, please don't. Uh oh. Oh. Beautiful. Okay. Beautiful. Beautiful. Woo. Now let's just pick up some fire fruit. This is technically optional, but this is literally the only kind of food I run past, even though it is the most garbage food ever. So we'll just have something. Okay. Uh. Right here, hopefully if we get lucky with a bounce, instead of actually firing this down, I'm going to shoot a bomb at the top of that chest. It will bounce forward. Oh, unfortunately. Oh. And it can bounce all the way to the end of that corridor if it doesn't hit that edge right there. i get the small key. And now we're going to get into what I think most people never used bombs for, unfortunately, because it's one of the coolest things. So bombs basically can just let you bounce anywhere you want. So right here is our first use case. So I'm just gonna do a shield flip and just yeah. fly up right here. Oh, yes. And it's gonna be used everywhere yes. for movement. Definitely one of my favorite fuses. Yeah. <laughs> like when you're when you're just casually playing the game and you're like, oh, I wonder. Yeah. I like putting putting the rockets on the shield as well. Love yeah. It. Flying up in the air. Do this. All right, now hopefully, if I get this next segment right, this is one of the harder ones in terms of movement, I should be able to make it from this shrine to the next one in about, I think it's 55 seconds, which for how far away it is, and also the fact that it is way higher than me, it is very fast. I think running this would be like seven minutes or something. Holy shit. So hopefully we get all of this. Um, the timings are very precise, and also with these ones, when you're using it with a bomb like this, uh, the camera angle that you have is also gonna change the outcome. So this is the first one. Whoa, beautiful. Shit. It's like dude perfect. Drop. Yeah. <laughs> gonna go forward. And then yeah, this wind is so strong, you're not supposed to be able to go. It's like a one way. If you play this game casually, you will have made a raft right there and just kind of uh, went over with the sail. Uh, then right here, I'm gonna go up on this ledge. This is the first time I've watched this since like two weeks after the game came out. Yeah. So, yeah I've, I've never watched it. This is all new to me. There's a lot of new movements since the first bit. Because the first week or two, in my opinion, the Great Sky Island was so boring because you just ran everywhere. You just did the, you did like normal route. Yeah. yeah. Now it's all just so fast. Yeah, this is way better. And hopefully when I miss the last <laughs> jump, I'd be kind of sad. <laughs> Oh, oh okay. my god. He's so clean with it. Then I think I have enough hide. I think I'm gonna Does everyone else's speed game like when I watch someone else play their speed game, I'm like, God, this is so hard. How do you do any of this? Like yeah. does everyone else feel that way? Like, no matter who I watch, I'm like, oh my god. So your thing doesn't feel impressive. No, yeah. I think, like, when I watch my thing, I'm like, yeah, yeah, it's easy as hell. Every time I watch, like, you and then I have to go next here, I'm like, my shit sucks. Well, I, I distinctly make sure I always go before you. <laughs> <laughs> oh. All right, it's time for your favorite shrine. I love this. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Master hand. Want to <laughs> build some stuff? I do. I want to build. 
I'm actually like wildly disappointed in that you don't really like <laughs> yeah. Trust me, it's a, it's a cool shrine. It was like the first week when I was like, all right, I'm going to do my own route, right? I'm yeah. going to learn my own <laughs> route. And I was just like building boxes trying to throw myself yeah. in the cannon. Just like that's all I was doing was just like, all right, maybe I build a box yeah. like this and I hold onto the wall. It'll work, you know? <laughs> and now you're learning that there was no point. No point. Yeah. Zero yeah. point doing it. I spent 10 hours doing that. That's really yeah. sad. Yeah. Yeah, this mm. shrine is broken by two things. One is the speed food, and then two, because I think a lot mm. of people probably never try this. If you uh, if you fuse a wing to your shield, you get an extra high jump if you do a shield jump. So for this first one, I can just run and jump. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, take two, take two. Yeah, for this first one, I can just run and jump, and then on this one, this one, I actually do have the time. For I don't know why that made me so happy. <gasps> There we go. Oh. I can just barely make it over with it's the wing. So, it's so minor that yeah. a lot of people might not notice. <laughs> and then for the this last part. This one right uh, here, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> we're just going to. Tony Hawk it. We're just going to Tony Hawk it. <laughs> that's messed up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, sorry. That's, yeah, that's I know, the shrine. No, no alter hand, you know? Yeah. Dude, I used to spend hours doing builds. <laughs> I didn't find the like rebuild thing until I was like 50 yeah, yeah hours auto build, in. yeah. I, yeah that was like fifty hours. I in. found it. I just never used it. Oh my god, dude! I I was I would spend like an hour, every stream. I'd like wake yeah. up and I'd be like, okay, we're gonna build something crazy today, and yeah. be, like, two hours of just building one thing. My favorite thing though break. was yeah. when the game came out. If you guys didn't see it, he was complaining all the time mm. about this specific thing, how it's annoying true. it was he couldn't save. It's and true. then I think he had like, I don't remember what it was, like 20, 30 hours, a lot of time in. And then all of a sudden he went, okay, my biggest grudge just went away. Yep, <laughs> it's true. I like out of the blue, and I was like, that's so funny. That was close. Okay. Yeah, I was, the, I was the last person to find that. I really liked just having a distance to cross <laughs> yeah. that would take one minute to walk and spend <laughs> 10 minutes to build a car. Yeah. Build a sick car and then drive it, and it took like 10 seconds. You drive it, you build this sick car, you drive it, and then you, you're like, oh, a shrine. Yeah, <laughs> your car's uh, gone. The car's gone. <laughs> now I wasted so much time. I was like, how do I get 70 hours before beating Ganon? <laughs> then I'm like, oh, wait, I know exactly how. Dude, once I learned how to build like, uh, like suspension for each tire, you know, like put a oh, spring and yeah. build suspension for each yeah. tire, I was like, well, let's see what we can kill Klein today, you know? <laughs> Shout out to all the people uh, just standing. True. Yeah, yeah. Who, whose legs are tired out there? <laughs> Give a round of applause. Your legs are tired. Yeah. They're also at PAX all day, which there's not a lot yeah, of sitting were, going yeah, on at, at PAX, PAX either. Then you God came damn. here to stay yeah. all night. It's a too. long day. Uh, just a reminder, after this is done, me, Lincoln, CJ, and, and our boy Elrock over there. I believe he's playing some Simpsons right now. Is that what's going down? Playing some more Turtles. Oh, more turtles, more turtles. Y'all sticking through this stage, I got to skip to show you. Really cool speed strat. All right, I want to see Give this. Give me like... This is perfect. Give me like we got one minute. Here. <laughs> All right, so this is stage two. Pretty innocuous stage on its own, but it did have a dirty speed glitch that was just rediscovered about five years ago, I think. Got enemies misbehaving, though, so it's unfortunate there. So anyway, going to take care of these guy, that guy this guy. And then I'm going to small wave of enemies here. Uh, misbehaving. Okay. Uh, uh, okay. All right. All right. So here's the skip. I'm going to go up here, walk all the way to this wall, hold down to the right. Oh. And we can just push our sprite all the way through this code. Whoa. Uh, scale the wall. Sort of. Holy shit. And go right to our boss fight. What a nice. Yo, that was dope. That was dope. That was cool. I wish I could say I planned like throwing to you right at that moment. Yeah. <laughs> like I wish I could say that was planned. Really glad everybody got to see that. Dude, it's that was the, this game. What a serendipitous moment of speedrun sessions right nice. there. Yo, Jump clap for L Rock right there. Nice. Clap for L Rock. That was sick. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It's the coolest thing in this game. Yeah. In a game full of cool stuff. Oh. Also, if you guys are worried, don't worry. You basically missed nothing. I had, it was uh, just a long cut yeah, scene. Yeah, cut scene, cut, cut scene, and then I warped here uh, to get back. This is where the fourth shrine is, so. That was, okay, that moment right there was the most, like, 
we planned that moment, yes. that we absolutely did not plan, yeah, though, right? Yeah, we did not. It's like we planned that cutscene yep. for his skip in just such a perfect moment. <laughs> That's yeah. hey, Speedrun Sessions. What a yeah. well-produced show, right? What a well-produced yeah. show. True. He's, he's just selling this. There was a secret code word. <laughs> yep. And there was like a bunch of we stuff. We had that all planned. We have six plants in the it, audience. We practiced, we practiced that, gave that us like seven times before the Yeah. Season. Yeah. Rehearsals were hell. <laughs> okay. Uh, I think I was fast enough to make early cycle, so then you will get to see one usable dram. So, um, okay, you know what? I'll do it even though I didn't make... Oh, I got made it. Okay, yeah. So, oh, I missed messed up the flick. So you can use Ultra Hand on those. You do not have to use Stasis like it's intended. Well, Recall. So if you do the right flick with the motion control, you can just immediately up and it skips the whole thing. Oh, okay. Yeah. Hey. That's the only use of it. Yay for Ultra Hand. <laughs> yeah. Yay for Ultra Hand. Okay. But yeah, after this is done, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to do a meet and greet over there at the picture booth. You guys can just line up. We will stay as long as y'all want. Everybody can get a picture, whatever you want. We'll sign whatever picture. Any, any, if you want one picture with one person, we'll do whatever you guys want. Um, after this is all done with all four of us. If you just um, want us to take a picture of you, we'll that's, do that that's too. That's chill too. We'll do that too. And then after that, we're taking on all comers in Killer Queen. All okay. comers. All comers. So. Comers. D any comers? Re <laughs> Respectfully. <laughs> Respectfully. We're finally about to, unfortunately for everyone, I know you must have enjoyed it, uh, be done with the great Sky Island. It was so I much love fun. Sky Island. <laughs> I feel like this is where the run really starts. Though. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, unfortunately, the any percent, it's also sort of where it ends. But <laughs> <laughs> there, this rollout, I will say, if you haven't seen this run before, is very cool. It's very hard, but it is super cool. Um, I'm not going to attempt to explain it without you seeing it. It's not going to make any sense, but trust me, in a few minutes, you're going to see a lot of cool stuff. Okay, okay. Okay. Is there a lot of RNG in this one? Uh, except for the amiibo, the RNG that exists is that for the final boss fight, we're basically going to duplicate and use those rubies. And they have such a big explosion range that if you get unlucky, you can have an enemy jump at you while you have already like, started the throw. And then it explodes too close to you, and you die, and you lose minutes. So that's technically the only like RNG. Um, and then the final boss fight, the dragon face, is also sort of luck. Um, if you grind and you don't mess up at all, and you can do a two-cycle strat, but if you go off, schedule at all, then it's just all RNG, you know, if that makes sense? Yeah. So for us, it's all RNG, because we're not doing a two-cycle strat. It's no way it's happening. I'm going to attempt the three-cycle strat, uh, which is the intermediate method, but we'll see. So we could be stuck on the final dragon part for like two minutes if we get unlucky. Because we don't have the paraglider, so we have to make we're sure that get he stops lucky. underneath. We'll yeah. get lucky. True. I gave up on Breath of the Wild because I just didn't like the banana RNG. <laughs> that was enough to make yeah. me not want to play. Well, that's the original reason why Amiibo actually became popular was because of that fact. Oh! Oh, did not get that jump. That's ooh, do not land on me. Oh. <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> Thankfully, that's just for time save and not for skipping anything. Yeah. So if I was gonna miss one, that was the best one to miss. All right. Link. Now is when it, the run starts to get scary. So I'm gonna do a lot of dupes and I'm gonna fly all the way towards the castle. And I'm coming up on now a really difficult trick, um, which you're going to see a lot of, uh, which is fall damage cancel, because I don't have a paraglider. Yeah, Wait. the wings is kind of hanging Oh, in okay. There. Yeah. That, that's the one you... Okay. Yeah. Yep. That's I funny. Yeah. <laughs> that's awesome. So if I miss the fall damage cancel, I have to redo this whole fly, which is two minutes. So hopefully none of that's happened. Is it the same as like the Breath of the Wild one, or is it different? Way harder. Way, way, oh, way harder. Really? Yeah, so basically, <laughs> yeah. Uh, basically, Nintendo tried to patch shield clipping in a lot of our glitches. So you cannot unequip your shields when you're in midair, right? Okay, yeah. Uh, however, if you hold the L button to open up this menu right here, while it's closing, during that kind of lag, there's like a two, three frame window where you can technically oh. press D-pad left to then open up your shield. If you unequip your shield and then dive within a 
split second window after that, it, I will hate this re it will reset your animation and pretend, and it will think you started the fall there, so you don't take any fall damage. Remember when all you had to do was like throw your sword? Yeah, on the old <laughs> version, you was just had awesome. to literally throw. Yeah. <laughs> That was so easy. So when you were saying that, I was like, what are you talking about? <laughs> Fail the fall damage cancel. <laughs> yeah. Is it your first time playing the game? <sighs> yeah, and like I said, the fly, like on the other one, I mean, it loses a minute. On this one, I have to redo this whole flight. So hopefully that does not happen. Including all the duping and everything. Yeah, yeah I think ah. I'm on my last dupe now with my numbers. Yeah, if I just get this one, and I missed it. I do have to get off this suit, though, because it is... I was going to say. Starting to get kind of mad at me. Yeah. I'll do the last one off the ground. Okay. Right. So hopefully we don't fail this. <clears throat> Here we go. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, okay. Thank God. Okay, I'm just going to finish these dupes now while I'm on the ground. Link this! Link this! That Thank one was you. deserved. You deserved that one. Okay, now we're coming up on the really cool glitches. So I'm going to make a safety save here. I have enough equipment. Okay, good. So, um, that glitch I just did can be used not only for fall damage cancel, but also to be able to re cancel it cancels your animation, right? You can also retake out your bow. So, hold on. so I can gain, I can basically infinitely over and over again. Let me actually turn around so you can see what I'm doing. I'll just do that. There you go. <laughs> For the fans. So uh. I can basically just do infinite jump slashes now. So if I'm against the ceiling and I do this frame perfectly, not first try, that's fine. I have to be at the perfect height. And then if I frame perfectly do that, Second frame, my that's fine. Um, you can hopefully barely clip out of bounds, so let's see this again. Oh. Yeah, so the awkward thing about the frame perfect timing is that when you start holding L, there's about a 0.8 second de delay in between starting to press it. Oh, I got it. There we go. Whoa. <laughs> okay. Don't. So, <laughs> this is sick. Now, hopefully, we have a fall damage cancel at the bottom of this, and if yeah. we fail that, we gotta redo it. I also have to make sure I don't accidentally load anything here while I'm out of bounds. So hopefully <laughs> we get this big dive. So we're going to dive to the, not bottom, but like bottom, 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 where Ganon is. And all of this has collisions. So if I hit anything, I instantly die here. So you're going like, you're skipping all that first. Yep, okay. we skip everything. So now we're past the depths. And now here, you can actually see all these tunnels. These are the tunnels you're supposed to go down with when you're fighting, you know, going your way down to Ganon. And we're going to try this to go to the crazy. very bottom. This is wild. And hopefully, like I said, we don't mess the second fall damage cancel. Uh, if so, then we can get a safety save, and I don't have to panic anymore. Every every Zelda game is like a dope speed run that, yeah. that I don't want to play. <laughs> yeah, they're never normal. No, they're, they're all, all so weird. Good. Yeah. Like, you play like Mario, 3D Mario, and it's all like, that makes sense. Yeah. Okay. Oh, there my we God. Go. Okay. Woo. Okay. Oh, thank goodness. Okay. So normally, if this was a like war record attempt, you can actually clip through the ground immediately there. I'm gonna go up here to get a save because otherwise you start all the way from the the start if you die against any of the enemies at the end. And I'm sure you can imagine if you play this game, beating everything with three hearts, four hearts, I guess, is not easy. So I'm gonna go here, and if I go close to this ground, it's gonna think that I'm in a bounce, hopefully, and it should generate an auto save. If it wants to be nice to me. It's looking in the bottom left, the depths. There we go. Come on. Come on, activate the autosave. It's a little bit janky. This is why I normally would not do this in the run, but just need just need the autosave. Come on, game. Come on, game. <laughs> Come, Come on, on game. game. Hello? Game. Am I just not gonna get the autosave? I almost wanna YOLO it at this point. Come on. YOLO! <laughs> Uh, 
Can I actually just not get it? I just did it. Okay. Can you save save? Uh, he won't spawn me back here probably. Okay, I'll just make a manual save and we'll just try and get this first try. Hopefully. Well, I'll see. Okay. <laughs> I, I, I hope we uh, don't so just, like, the best. Fuck you. it. We uh, well, are. worst case, I have to do the out of bounds clips again, which is pretty cool. Yeah, okay. they're fun. Yeah, uh, okay, so I have to now do it then a glitch to get back in a bounds because otherwise, like, it just kind of spawns me out of bounds. But I cannot do that now, so I'm gonna have to get in this corner. Oh, God, this takes me so hard to see. This there. is so cool. Then I have to. You know what's interesting, too, about every Zelda speedrun? Like, every single one is hardcore broken. Yeah. Like, they're all really Those fuckers did not make a game that doesn't Right? Matter. There's not one Zelda. Even from Zelda 1, they're all yeah. fucking wildly broken, you know? Uh, to do this, I'm going to have to... You can tell when I've had three drinks and I start saying fuck all the time. <laughs> in this Your son is watching. He's True. Yo, my son's favorite artist is Kendrick Lamar right now. He's <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm gonna see one last thing before I try it again. I'm gonna see now because it's been more uh, like a bit. Is he gonna do the auto save again? All right, no, let's just do it. Okay. We don't need no stick and save. No, no. Okay, so I'm gonna basically do the same glitch again. So normally, like I said, you can't unequip your shield uh, in midair. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a shield jump. And then I'm gonna do open up the I'm gonna open up the L menu, open up this, unequip it, he's gonna go. He's gonna go Oop. Oh Whoa. clips through the ground. Whoa. And now oh I have god. to do the fall damage. Oh cancel. my god. <laughs> Hopefully we don't fail this now. These are all Okay. Oh my god. Oh my okay. god. Okay. Now we just have to get through all of the fights without dying. So here Easy. we're going to do Holy a little strat. So these rubies have a much bit bigger radius than it looks like. And they do one hit you. And most of the enemies one hit you. So. He's from Sweden! Oh god. He's not in Sweden now. You're right. <laughs> Do not. Okay. That was a bit scary tonight. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. Right, now we just have to not take any more damage, and we will make this. Oh, oh my god. Yeah, the unfortunate thing is with the other damage, I can heal up. Right now, I actually have to get everything first try, so this is not looking good for me, because that's like the type of damage where like it doesn't just normally heal up. You can see right there. Oh, the like heart. the gloom. So, yes, yeah, so I actually have to get through this now with the heart. Uh, but, uh, you know, that's fine. That's unfortunate. So I have to pick up a bunch of equipment here for Ganon also, because Ganon is very strong. Uh, this face uh, is RNG based, so one of them can jump at me, and if they hit me, then I just kind of instantly die, because, like, the Ruby gets attacked at. So oh. you're doing, like, a cancel, too, right? Yeah, like so a throw normally cancel? when you throw, you have, like, a long delay before you can throw the next one. So by immediately taking up the recall menu, I can cancel that, and where's the... There it is. Sorry, I have to find the specific items. Oh, that's unfortunate. Um, yeah, so by taking it out, it cancels the animation, so I can immediately throw the next one. So that's how I'm kind of spamming these out. Uh, I got very unfortunate luck there, which is a little bit scary. So hopefully, I'm going to pause buffer this while looking around. So where this drops, I cannot get hit now anymore, which is, OK, it's over there. Hopefully they don't hit me, because normally you have like oh. one bonus attempt, <laughs> but now I don't. OK, so that's one of the items I need. And now I just need one more spear, and we are safe. Okay, now we can attempt to actually kill them. I'm gonna try and make them attack me, and then I'm gonna throw that right there. Oh my god. Bam. Wow. Okay. <laughs> this is so stressful. Okay. I am mostly scared after this fight, because after this fight, I have a lot of really difficult glitches. And normally you take damage while attempting those. So only having one might mean that we get through this and we have to redo this. But at least this is somewhat of a cool fight. I don't like this guy. One I was bit. about to say, this guy is like He's out pissing for me you. off. Yeah. I got you like throwing them behind him too, you know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, because like, if I throw them yeah. in front of him or at them, like even at this distance, he would actually kill me. Yeah. That's why I keep walking back as well. Okay, that's all the enemies. Now hopefully we get all the glitches and tricks. First try. If I make it to Ganon past these two next glitches, we're fine. So 
here because I didn't beat any of the dungeons. Five, sorry, six bosses spawn oh, for all the dungeons. Geez. But the reason I do the army, but I can skip these, is because Ganon doesn't spawn during the army. He technically has his cutscene trigger spawn during these free fights. What? So hopefully right here, we don't the fail anything. It's easy. If, it, I, if I mess this up, I'm going to fall down, and then I'm just dead. What's so interesting about this is this is probably something that Nintendo did because the Switch is, like, underpowered. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Like, they loaded that up early because the Switch is so underpowered. Yeah. And it ends up being such an integral part of the speed run. You know? Yeah. Okay, so yeah, yeah, this is why this is scary with one heart. Normally, I have a backup. Uh, if I mess this, I fall down, uh, and this is my death this time. So hopefully, <laughs> we get this first try. First Easy. try. Easy. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. Okay. Oh! Oh my now God, I just have to be so careful cool. to not walk in this. So I'm underneath the stage right now. I'm going to be very careful here because I cannot take this menace. And the scary thing is the upwards clip goes through menace right here. And uh, it's half the time you lose heart. So this could still all end here. So hopefully we get past that. I just need to make it again. And okay. Here, the camera will try and move and lock. So I'm walking in first person here. You can see right here, camera stuck. Unstuck it, <gasps> walk out of the goo. And then hopefully here, we can do this clip. So this clip in a bounce is way harder and the camera is janky. So I'm gonna stand here, gonna, oh. okay. Thank you for the- Bad omen. Okay, I think that's the right angle. It's kind of hard to see, it auto locks it. So we're gonna backflip, backflip, backflip. This is gonna be so scary. Thank you, Abby. <laughs> Please. Not first, that's fine. Not gonna work, that's fourth frame. Yeah, you can see by the way right here, if you look, L and now I jump slash, L jump slash, L jump slash, L jump slash, L jump slash. So if I do it, like, that's how long it takes. So that's why it's so awkward to do the frame perfect timing for them. This is so wild, you're just like in this stasis, you know? And you're not running out of stamina or anything. Please walk out. Okay. Yes. <laughs> okay. Let's okay. Go. Now I can die and be fine because we we'll get an auto save. So but you normally here we'd run into Ganon. There's one more thing we have to do, and that is change up our equipment. So I'm going to first drop this. Sorry. And now we are going to make the ultimate weapon. So this version of the game 1.0 lags a lot. So. One mechanic is if I stand against the wall, I'm going to show you right now, I'll try and drop this. It will just say you can't take that out here, right? Because it tries to drop behind me. But that is useful. So if I have the weapon in my hand and I use the most useless item of all time, which is a map on the rune, <laughs> I can release it and open up my weapons like that. And you see it delays it, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do that and drop this, repress it, and then equip this. It's going to re-put it back on my inventory, and now, I'm just going to show you as an example, I have two. I have one in my hand, always, and one on my back. So now the game thinks I have two of the same item out at the same time. So it duplicates them. So I'm going to do this now. That's the wrong one. Oops. I'm going to do this now a total of seven times. I already did it once. Let me do it fast now. So. <clears throat> two. Yeah, they really just put that map there because they needed to fill the yeah, circle. <laughs> exactly, but it just makes this entire trick possible. Three. If I do it too many times, I will uh, soft lock my game in the Zelda uh, fight because the dragon will unload because there's still a little memory left. So I don't want to do that. So you're going to be dealing the damage of all these weapons at once? Correct. Holy. Oh. Holy. Yeah, you're going to so see. Cool. Like, you're literally holding each one. So each time you dupe it, you're holding each Correct. One. Yes. Wow. So that should be enough, hopefully. So <laughs> now, um, let's oh, see I how see. it goes. Oh, I see. Yeah, I yeah. see. So if I did it correctly, let's see how this goes. 
So, uh, also, yeah, I'm going to get one hit here. Thankfully, like I said, if I die here, I'll respawn here. And if I don't fail it more than like four or five times with the memory overloads with my dupe stuff, I'll be fine. It's so crazy so, to see because like shit fine. like this used to take like six years for a speedrun community to find, and now it's six months. Yeah. So you can see right here on Ganon, for example. <laughs> oh, um, oh my god! What that's the our fuck? space. <laughs> what the fuck? Um, and now hopefully this. <laughs> This face is the RNG one. I have to get lucky here. Oh my god, the lag. Oh. That messed me up. I don't know why that did that. Oh my god, please. Parry. Oh, okay. Okay, and this should end this face because my weapon is very strong. Wow. And now we just have one more face, and I have to. This is the one when he flurry rushes us back. So hopefully I don't mess up this timing. This is so cool. So I'm very, like, this is so, it might look easy, but Ganon specifically has a smaller flurry rush timing than all the other enemies, and it's also very janky. Really? Yeah. Um, yeah, most people on the last fight probably just kind of try and attack him because he will flurry rush you back. Yeah. So they changed so he would actually be a hard fight. So a lot of runs have died here, especially when you're nervous, like on PV pace or here. <laughs> all right, so let's see here. So hopefully this goes well. So I'm going to run up. I'm going to attack him to activate it, and then... It's there, so I'm gonna do a backflip. Got it. Okay. Wow. And that's it. GG. <laughs> Woo. Okay. Now we just have the final fight. Woo. If I die on the dragon, that's fine. We'll respawn at the dragon face. So now we're kind of in safety. Because you don't have paraglider, this is actually a much different fight than we probably all did. Yes. In casual run. Yes. Um, yeah, thankfully, landing on the dragon is one of the only objects in the whole game that does not take fall damage. Oh, and Lily Yeah, points. but... Soft scales, soft scales. Right? Exactly, yeah. Right. But, like I mean, soft. it's still really hard Zel because... Zelda absorbs you, you know? Yeah. I mean, she knows. Oh. Yeah. Also, this is one of the longest loads. 1.0. I was going to say this load yeah, is so, so 1. long. Yeah, 1.0, some of these loading really zones are like an extra immersion. 8 seconds long. <laughs> uh, don't ask me why, it's just, just 1.0 being beautiful. Um... And then, yeah, this cutscene is also a little bit unique. You might not have seen it like this before. So uh, in this speedrun, we're not just going to get the master sword. We're actually going to get the master spear. So <laughs> master spear. Oh, I see. <laughs> oh, yep. Uh -huh. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Hey, pull it all the way out, bro. What are you Yo, doing? I want to get that tattooed on me next. <laughs> like, that's my next tattoo right there. <laughs> the master spear. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone's got a master sword. I want a master spear now. That's so sick. I'll put it right there, like right on him. He's going to hold it. Yeah. And then to make sure it doesn't mess us up, because it actually does mess with us, uh, we will also have to untangle, I guess I can say, all of these zuggled weapons, as it's called on us. So I'm going to do some shenanigans with equipping and unequipping items. Yeah, very thankful Nintendo sped up these loading times. Wow. The faster version, later versions. I mean, it is a master. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I wonder how, like, Wild Link would feel, like, pulling that out and being yeah. like, what the fuck is around this thing? <laughs> yeah. This is not how I gave it to you. Yeah. All right. Hopefully, we both get good luck, and I can pull off the trick to get. I will try to uh, actually have one heart I can't, but yeah. Hopefully, we get good luck, basically, because um, yeah, we're gonna be screwed. So first, right here, I'm gonna try and manipulate it so that I'll be above where the first eye will be, so I don't have to rely on luck. Very, very beautiful. Right here, I have to equip this, and then I'm gonna drop this, and there it goes all my equipped weapons. No. So that's how many I actually did have. And you can see here, no fall damage. And thankfully, this just tries to take the fake heart. So I'm actually kind of fine, thankfully. Um, then, uh, yeah. You can also see, uh, you can kind of stay in midair or go further by oh, okay. starting a throw and then doing B and Y. Um, because that kind of like does a jump slash, jump slash, but cancel. So it kind of can extend you, go faster, stuff like that. Um, now we'll see how my luck is with uh, how Ganon positions himself underneath Zelda. Uh, stop right now, please. Uh, not great. Uh, not great. I'm going to try something that's very risky, so let's see here. Wait, I have one oh. heart. I can't even do it. So if I had more health here, what you can do is you can purposely do a fall damage cancel while you drop the wing. And then if you do it like in midair, it's like a combo of the two glitches. You take like one or two hearts by landing on it instead of all of it. 
but with one heart, that is <laughs> not happening. Ain't, ain't doing it. Wait, actually, I have. Wait, it gave me my health back. Okay, if it happens again, we can actually try it now. One All right. Uh, yeah, like I said, this is very sad, though. In my opinion, the last boss fight is so cool. And then this dragon fight, it's cool when it comes to story wise. Yeah. But the actual, like, speedrun is very anticlimactic. Um, thankfully, though, though, this time wow. I got good luck. So I will say, this this whole moment made me very emo as I was playing it after my, you know, like 117 yeah. hours in one week of gameplay. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I, yeah. I felt emo after this. Yeah, that was fair. Yeah. But then Zelda comes back, and I'm like, oh, well, that's not that big a deal. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, oh, well, oh, never mind. I've heard that from a lot of people. It's not a that lot of people it was, it was, were like, they should have kept her. Because yeah. it's tragic. Like, yeah. if she ends up like this, that's tragic. And then it, yeah. like, closes the book on this whole, like, this part of the legend, right? And then we yeah. can move on to a new legend. Yeah. Okay, I don't know how y'all feel about this. I don't, think, like, I don't think Zelda games are, like, intertwined. I think they're, like... It's oh, like an old lady telling a story, and then we go to a different old lady, and she's like, 100%. she's a pirate, and she's yeah. telling a story, and that's Wind Waker. And we go to like a lady that likes a dog, and she's telling a story, and that's Twilight Princess. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, and that's Sorry. how Legend of Zelda is. So like, if she says a dragon, that would like complete the legend, like, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I think it would have been cool if Zelda turns herself into a dragon, and she's like one of the dragons that already exists. Was there the whole time? Yeah, she was there the whole in the, time. In Breath of the Wild, it's she like was there the yeah paradox shit. Yeah, that would have been cool. I like time travel tropes, so I would have yeah. been down with that. Yeah. All right, last time we got a somewhat of a good position. Yeah, I wish I wish she would have been one of the dragons in Breath of the Wild. Yeah, that was that I would say is the, like the one day. and like they fixed oh. it like oh wow you just got smacked. Like they're like oh she was flying up high, but yeah I agree with you. I wish she would have been one of the three original dragons. Yeah, you can see how much awful this fight is without the paraglider. Yeah. <laughs> um, but that's okay. Now we just have the front eye, and that one should be consistent. Uh, you can get really unlucky and have like a fireball hit you in the opposite direction. But it's not gonna happen. We're lucky. Here. Yeah, we're lucky here. Yeah. It should be fine. Also, to clarify for the the crew, the time does not actually end when we fight this dragon. Time ends when we grab Zelda's hand later. Okay. So what? In a cut <laughs> Don't get confused. No, it's not a cutscene. You do play it. Oh, oh, right. You dive through yeah. the air. Okay. I have the time soon because I got to pee so bad. <laughs> so bad. I mean, look at your fucking drinks right there, bro. Yeah, bro. You know what? Hey, <laughs> speedrun sessions, all right? This ain't GDQ. It's speedrun sessions. Yeah. You know, we get exactly, down. Exactly. Exactly. Oh. Whoa. All right. I can no longer mess up. <laughs> okay. I do still wish, even though it's not last input, time would end here because compared to any other Zelda game, Wind Waker, and in my opinion, this dragon right here is the most satisfying time end, like it should be. Wind Waker, you smash the master down yeah. Ganon's head, yeah. and right here, it would just be so nice to like, just press time boom. right as he does the boom, like right here. Yeah. Like, and he explodes and everything. Look, look. Time. Like, that's that should, should be, be the time. It's that not time. The time. That's not time. It's not yeah. time. Yeah. But it should be time. Yeah. <laughs> also, a fun little fun fact about this falling. You know what? That would be another rule change that would make it more fun. Yeah. Just for the 100%, record. 100%. Yeah. Uh, for all this falling thing, by the way, in case you were ever worried, I'm not going to take too long here because this man does have to go to the bathroom. But you're not actually falling. It's just like a cosmetic thing. You're like static. Yeah, so you'll be in the sky forever. So I was like kind of scared not to catch her and like fail. That would so, be hilarious. Yeah, so if I'm just on the side of Zelda here, I'll just show you a little bit. So you can see if I'm kind of just looking on the side. So right now I am going down. But once I get to like Zelda's porch, you're going to notice that it's just a visual effect and I won't go down anymore. So I'm about to reach Zelda uh -huh. right now. And then when I'm at this coordinate, oh my God. Oh. we don't actually fall. But if you look down, it looks like it. Wow, what? video game. <laughs> video games. Oh. Movie magic. Touch her hand. Do it, yeah. Blake. Time will come Grab in three, her. two, Grab her. one. Time. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Linkus, 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 Linkus. Woo! <laughs> Yeah.
Yeah, that's Tears that to the Kingdom. That run's fucking hot. That is a hot run. That's a, a fun run. Hope you guys enjoy. That's crazy a hot run. run. Fun. Yeah, that is a hot run. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Linkus one more time right there. Yo, before we before we close it out, I want to check in with L Rock one more time. L Rock, what are you working on? So I'm just gonna show y'all something real quick. Yeah. It's a game that doesn't exist. It's really, really bad. I just want people to know that it's a thing. So here we have Judge Dredd. The Sylvester Stallone version. The best. This game was oh. never released. We're gonna start stage one. I'm not gonna beat this game. I never played it before today. I just know about it. And I'm thrilled this arcade has it. So peep this. We, sh we see our control scheme, right? We got the music clown at the top, which is great. We're just going to walk to the right, wearing our green. And then we have this lady walking a Goro from Mortal Kombat. Wow. Oh, yeah. Which is maybe my favorite thing in a game ever. That's ridiculous. And that kind of just sets the, sets the mood for what Judge Dredd's trying to present. You know, the game is incredibly finished and well put together. Oh, hey, there she is again. Walking back in the other direction. This game is very jank. I don't really have anything good to say about it, but Goro here is a gem. Honestly, so. that just ruined all of Mortal Kombat lore for me, knowing they're <laughs> all three foot three. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to give it up one more time. L Rock over on the arcade, holding us down all night. Thank you. I'd like to give it up for CJ Ya, Super Mario Odyssey right there. Linkus, who ran Tears of the <laughs> Kingdom right there. That was super amazing. I'd like to shout out our production team, games and crew back there in the corner who travel city to city and make this happen. I'm going to give a shout out Point Crow because he's right there, right? Point Crow's right there. Yeah. Hey, and Graham Pooh Bear as well. Yes. We can't yes. not give it up for Graham Pooh <laughs> yeah. Bear right here. Ladies and gentlemen, if you hey yeah, I love that shit. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, if you want a picture with one or any of us, right back there in the picture area, the little Game Boy game, the little arcade area, just make a line. It doesn't matter if you're first or last. We're gonna sit and wait for everybody. Um, after the bathroom break. After we take after the bathroom break. After we go to the bathroom. <laughs> and then after that, Killer Queen all night. Otherwise, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you had a good time here at Grand Pooh Bear Speedrun Session Boston Part Two. I really appreciate you coming. This Red Bull Arcade will be going on all weekend long, so if you want to come hang out when you're not at PAX, come hang out here. Otherwise, I just want to thank you guys one more time for making these events so much a success. I love doing these. These mean the world to me. Thank you guys so much for coming. Of thank course. you, L-Rock, for coming. Thank you, Games Production. And thank you most of all, you amazing crowd out here. Yeah! I love y'all! We'll see y'all out. PAX East, we out! <laughs>